And we are live. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Nerdarchy for Nerds by Nerds. I'm Nerdarchist Ted, and welcome to our episode one of Tales from the Bloody Bucket. Uh, this is a new new endeavor. Uh, RPG Crate is sponsoring said game, and if all goes well, this will be an ongoing series. We're going to be running their material. It's, it's a bunch of one-shots, so we might see some familiar faces, you know, uh, as the game go, goes on from uh, adventure to adventure. So some of these people might be back, some of them not. We'll see, we'll see what winds up transpiring. Uh, so before we get into the story, I'm going to allow these awesome players to introduce themselves. So we'll start off with you, Asa. Hey, I'm Asa Kinney. I uh, volunteer staff writing for Nerdarchy. Um, that's really all I got going on. I mean, I have normal why life you, things, but... Uh, why, why don't you say what, what you're playing? <clears throat> all right, I am playing a half-orc ranger, uh, Beastmaster, and uh, I have a bear companion who I am convinced Quote, is a dog. Bear. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's wolf, free skin to a bear, so we stick within the challenge rating restrictions and all that. Um, and my character is convinced his bear is a dog. <laughs> All right, over to you, Mike. Uh, I am playing Zegris Crow Puncher, the Cobalt Arcane Trickster. That's uh, pretty much it. Uh, okay, Jake. <laughs> hey, Internet, it's Jake, and I'm better known as Mini Terrain Domain, where I do 3D dungeon crafting uh, with mostly foam and bits and scraps of whatever I got laying around. I'm also one half of the Something RPG-ish podcast available on Podbean and iTunes with the RPG Construct. Drake is my co-host. Um, and that's what I do, dungeon crafting and podcasting and playing games. And I'm excited to be here playing Ethander Heartsong, a half-elf trickster cleric. I've got a pendant of multiple holy symbols, and whichever god will do the trick, that's who I'm going to rely on. That is awesome. Oh. All right, Kevin. Okay, my name's Kevin. Uh, I do several YouTube channels, main one being uh, Heavy Metal Beer Review, and I also do a Metallica tribute called Kill 'Em All out of Phoenix, Arizona. My character's name is Hammett Hetfield, and Hammett <laughs> is a... Half elf on a bard, folk hero style, uh, brewer, fighter, and absolute beer lover. Uh, all right, over to you, Scott. Yeah, good day. So I'm uh, Scott Bickard. I am um, occasional uh, staff writer for Nerdarchy. Um, I also am one of the people behind Chartopia, a random table service, service which has uh, been mentioned on Nerdarchy a few times. Uh, today I am playing Churgon Auriferous, the, uh, the dragonborn uh, soldier, uh, soldier type. He's a fighter with the, with the officer background. And um, I basically whip this character up in about three seconds, so I guess we're kind of. I think we're just going to go with he's a bit of a, probably a bit of a stickler for the rules, and other than that, and 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 maybe a bit pompous, but other than that, you know, we'll we'll figure the rest out as we go. All right, Jake, what uh, what race were you? I am a half elf. Okay, so we have two half elves, a half orc, a kobold, and a dragonborn. And it sounds like it's a it's a joke. You know, when I say, you know, walks into a bar. So going with that, you guys are in the bloody bucket. And that is the typical start, to my knowledge, for the, these adventures since the game is called Tales from the Bloody Bucket. So in the town of Three Rivers Ford, there is the, the tavern called the, the Bloody Bucket, as you guys would, would guess. Over the last several days... You have managed to, you know, get some respite from your recent adventures in said tavern. And over this, the course of this time, there was an earthquake or some kind of, you know, tremors that have, have panicked some of the local townsfolk. And 
you later find that the river that goes you know through and past the town has a waterfall a short distance away and the waterfall changed the 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 earthquake caused a change in the waterfall and actually caused it to split and it now is is showing a cavern that has been worked hidden behind this waterfall alongside that having spent some time in this town you've learned a little bit of its history there was the willow family that used to have an orchard on the outskirts of town and for a long time they were very prosperous they fell on some bad times their son died and they pulled away the orchard began to to wither and die and they all they all disappeared and were presumed dead rumors abound that somewhere out there is a crypt that or a, a you know family crypt that belongs to the family but with no one uh, with, with no one surviving in the family it was kind of just lost and forgotten about over the years constable Fenwick who is a prominent member of the, of the town he's been raising taxes and since the land was was unkept he decided he was going to lay claim to the Willow family property. When the waterfall opened up, he sent some people to investigate. When they didn't return, he says, well, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Several days have now passed, and no one knows what happened to the dear constable. So members of the town are asking for someone to go look for this constable Mem members of of the town will say say that should someone be able to find him they, that they can waive any taxes that you would have to pay in the town and lastly the willow family supposedly had a lot of money and if the constable actually found any of it there might be a handsome reward so you guys are in the bloody bucket. What do you wish to do? Right. Well, I'm going to call the wench and say, "Hey, right, wench, get me some gut rot. Make sure you get some from me dog, too. And I'm going to gesture to my uh, quite large dog, which is a bear. Uh, <laughs> then I'm going to turn to the kobold, and I'm going to rub my jaws where my lower teeth have been filed down. Oi! Right, what are you looking at? So this Good. is us meeting each other for the first time. Uh, that is completely up to you as to whether you guys know each other or not. Mm. I, I was good mm. with us all being friends. So, I mean. All right, go, go. I'm just getting off the stage between sets right now. I do acoustic version of Metallica songs. <laughs> and I'm just, um, yeah. I, I'm just like, like <laughs> thing. And I see a bunch of people uh, say, liking the music. And so I walk over to them uh, with about four mugs of ale. And uh, walk over to the seat and just like, so you're enjoying the music. Uh, I, just, I just take a mug and I'm just like, and that, gentle beings, is why I always applaud the minstrel. <laughs> As you were walking off the stage, I used uh, press the digitation to make little fireworks behind you. <laughs> I prefer. It's like, wow, a light show. I don't get that very often. That's awesome. <laughs> I need to buy lights, actually. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Claudia, the uh, plainly, just, plainly dressed, plain faced. Uh, you know, wait, waitress, you know, she brings you over the, the grog that you ordered and, you know, kind of steps back from your dog. When she walks by the ranger, I use mage hand to pinch her butt. 
<laughs> oh she, god! You know, <laughs> she she jumps and uh, quickly, you know, wa walks away with a you know a, a kind of ashamed glare. Hey, that wasn't some, me this time. Some decorum, please. I'm trying to drink in peace. <laughs> hey, it was invisible. You didn't see nothing. <laughs> oh, rogue. It's the rogue one. All right. So, uh, do we want to go find this, uh, this person that these people was talking about? Well, I am very fond of not relinquishing any of my funds, so I have to say I'm for it. I know, this thing doesn't pay a lot, so, yeah, I, yeah, find the guy that's taxing me to death, hell yeah, I'll find him for one reason or another. Yeah, you gotta pay taxes to play in a bar. No, but he comes at, but they he sends his henchmen and takes a share of it every damn time and pick up the damn loot. Ah, oh, then there's the appropriate, the um, then so there's the appropriate help? fee for acquiring help? such things and the tax on that fee and so on and so on. Yes, I've got no love lost for Fenwick. I'll tell you that. He's not above tax in the uh, <clears throat> church. <laughs> but I sure would like to see him owe me one. It's be quite beneficial. It's always good to have a constable in your pocket. But what do we know about the about his expedition and and? when it was going and who he who was traveling with him. Lewis uh, looks in his pocket and goes, I don't think a constable is going to fit in there. <laughs> no, it's... This is a lengthy fit. <laughs> it sounds rather... Um, rather uh, unpleasant and uh, unnecessary and too, too much mess. Um, <laughs> perhaps we should just refer to it metaphorically. Of course, just trying to help. So it's appreciated. You you know very little about others that were sent in that direction. Uh, Constable Fenwick is is a human. He is known to be quite greedy. Um, you know he's a pro he's approaching middle age. Uh, so he's probably not all that fit. Uh, so little, little is known other than, you know, he went in the direction of the of the river uh, to, to get to what's behind the waterfall. Um, but do, do we know, have he traveled with it? Did he, like, take any of the town militia or anything, or did he just go on his own? It was mercenaries, people people he was able to pay cheaply. Little is known about their capabilities. It must be nice for some to, to do that. Okay. Um, and so the waterfall has split. Um, yes. uh, the. Or the cabin. The, 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 the cabin has split, and, um, and, and we see there's a cabin behind the waterfall. Uh, well, that, that's what the, the rumors say. The, the river from the bird's eye view, people have begun to, begun to as opposed to calling it the, uh, uh, as, as opposed to, you know, calling it the, the, three, the three rivers, they've started calling it the, the Serpent River because the end of the waterfalls got you know, some kind of large stone in the middle of it and it gives that forked tongue appearance. Nice. And... Given the fact that the the orchard beyond the river faltered, and now the even the river itself is you know looking like an ill omen that the people are beginning to think that the land is cursed, and the family as prosperous as as the, the willows you know could have gone to the wayside, then what does that mean for everyone? Hmm. So this is—I'm I'm assuming this this orchard is a reasonable sign of prosperity in the in the land and and things it, like that. It used to be. 
used to be. The orchard is uh, quite decayed these days. Well, um, uh, I suppose we have to uh, um, find out what that what that were what we might have to what, what, when they left and. Think, oh, I can't think of anything. Sorry. So, do you guys want to respite in the tavern for the evening and set out in the morning? What is your? Where are you? What time of day is it? Is it? Is evening. it evening? Evening. Well, no time like the present. I got another set to do. <laughs> they'll they'll talk well, he's doing his set, next. Though. If you're, if we're gonna stay for him to do another show, I will also do a magic show for the guests and possibly pilfer some of their coins. <laughs> I will agree to leave at your leisure. All right, we'll make a uh, make a sleight of hand check there, uh, Mike. That is a 18. Actually, excuse me one second. I just needed to, I just realized I've got everything ready except for my dice, so I might just duck off for a second. All right, so while, while there might be some decent number of patrons in the bloody bucket, they are apparently not that wealthy this evening. You have got a whopping 10 copper for your works. This excites me greatly. <laughs> And then every single person that I stole anything from, I'm actually going to buy them an ale, even if it costs me more than I took. <laughs> well, it depends upon what quality of ale you're looking looking to get. Uh, Watered down get, is best. Well, then you you could uh, you know you could probably spend about half of that in perfect buy, buying drinks. And anyone that questions me, I'll just give them a knowing wink. <laughs> Uh, your, uh, your 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 nimble hands went unobserved by the room. Oh, it, it was my invisible mage hand that did it. Oh well, <laughs> well, no one noticed the uh, the floating coins then. It makes it sound like once it's fully enclosed, it's invisible too until it gets back to you. Oh, even better. All right, so does that, anyone else wish to uh, accomplish anything for the evening? Um, I guess I can do a performance check to see how well I did. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Okay, roll 1d20 with a plus four. <laughs> 22. <laughs> nice. I had a good night. <laughs> Uh, I'll, I would go around uh, trying to attempt casual conversation with people in what I consider to be the most civilized manner. Um, Chirgon's also going to be doing the same, but he's probably just going to be asking around just for any information about um, if the sheriff had any, uh, the constable, I should say, had any, any uh, motives beyond let's look into this. Like, was he, was he, was, was he more than just general... What, like, was there some pos possible ulterior motive? Is there anyone who knew anything about why he might have left? Okay, so you get 16 copper uh, for your performance. Again, town is not incredibly wealthy. Uh, and if you ask anyone, uh, they will tell you that Constable Fenwick is quite the, the greedy, greedy man. Uh, you know, he's fallen prey. Uh, you know, or you know, could he have fallen prey to any evil that might reside in the in the crypt? Um, you know, that, there, there's 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 no real way of of knowing. Uh, but as far as motivation, he you know, greed kind of is his line. Well, Jurgon would actually quite. Um... It sympathized with that line of thought quite easily, but if it wasn't for the fact that he was seeking his own funds. <laughs> All right, yes. So then, uh, and so, 
Asa, so nothing, nothing to, useful. Correct. Uh, Asa, so you're just looking to have a conversation, or are you looking to terrorize the townsmen? Uh, yes. I would say he's looking to have a conversation, not realizing just how terrifying he actually is coming off. Uh, so I'd probably approach someone and just be like, hey, what do you uh, know about the constable? And unintentionally, probably leering over the table, glaring down at them. <laughs> So uh, you know, you, you you manage to get a couple polite responses that end the conversation as quickly as possible without giving anything <laughs> new. Uh, but you drive many people from the tavern until uh, you know the, the the cook behind the counter, who's not quite as large as you, but not as intimidated uh, as the rest of the, the patrons, and he kindly asks you to refrain from driving off his patrons? I, I thought they just had somewhere to be. I didn't realize that it was me. And that where they needed to be was where there was not a uh, bit dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not my fault that my poor mutt is so... I don't know. Uh, it's scary. It's scary. It's scary. It's scary. You. Uh, feeling rather dejected, Lewis will probably sit down and, and start drinking a little if too much. If it makes you feel better, if it makes you feel better, we can eat the ba uh, dog. Uh, <laughs> dog meat is, is disgusting. It's stringy and a little, little disgusting. I look over at the rest of my go, but bear is really good. <laughs> All right. Anything else for the evening? I think that's us. All right. No, so I'm ready the, to turn in for the night. The morning. The morning light dawns. Um, some of you may be possibly still feeling the effects of last night. You, you awake, knowing that you have a, a mission set at first light. You assemble and meet at the outskirts of town. You can follow the river to where the uh, intended destination could be. To the left and the right are the north and south guard towers. And the orchard is beyond the, beyond the river. Where do you wish to go? Um, would the, uh, what kind of, what kind of fruit is the orchard? Uh, it used to be an apple orchard. Okay. Uh, but that was, uh, you know, many years ago. Now the orchard is rotted and the new, and the few fruit trees remaining are diseased. Thick thorny forest undergrowth ch yeah. chokes out the few seedlings that remain struggle against the orchard's blight. They haven't had a good crop in I don't know how many years here. <laughs> um, I just sort of look at them. Uh, I, I, I basically go, I, I suppose there's nothing left to do but to travel up the river? I would say probably a river is going to be the best route. What Hi. kind of uh, is this uh, what kind of land terrain is this? Uh, other than the, the river, it's, it's pretty open, you know, grasslands. Uh, there is a, there is a legend that the river was actually created by a giant who was so massive that he drug his club across the ground and it caused this 10 foot wide river, you know, in its, in, in its wake. I imagine <clears throat> as we're walking along that Ethander is is telling this. Uh, you know, it was said that this this giant was so tall his head was in the clouds, and as he walked, they say it was his club that he dragged all along the area, creating this river. Although. In some of the taverns, there's tales that it wasn't his club he was dragging. Well, that's just and then I just kind of, I kind of, I kind of elbow, 
elbow Lewis, like, right? I get wow. really excited and go, what about a dragon? I'm I'm just, I'm just I'm just absolutely appalled at you know that the this is the, the this is what the legends of my kinsfolk has been reduced to is 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 drunken dick jokes. <laughs> I've I've seen clubs do worse. All right, so uh, so you you head down the river. Is that correct? Yep, yes. That's the one. Wherever the waterfall is. So as you are, as you are heading down the river, uh, you you wind up stumbling, or not stumbling. You you come across uh, s uh, several figures uh, who are apparently still in their cups from the night the night before. F five men are. On the water's edge, a empty stein in one hand and a broken fishing rod in, in the other, and they're heading back towards the town. And now you say they were in bombs? No, they're they're kind of stumbling, wa walking still in their cups. Oh, cups, not cups. In their cut, yes, they're drunk. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. I'll, uh, I'll I'll walk up to one of them and say, "So you try clubbing some fishes with that thing?" Pointing at his fishing rod. Well, I I, I didn't get that. Could you repeat that, please? <laughs> you tr you tried clubbing some fish with that thing? I didn't try and club it. I tried to catch them. Well, that's what I said. That's that's how you catch them, right? I got a line here, man, and he he, you know, hold holds up the, you know, the stick, and there's, uh, you know, fi fishing line that's holding the the two pieces of the broken stick together. I'll uh, I'll examine it thoughtfully and say, well, no wonder you're not catching anything. You're not doing it right. What do you mean? I'll uh, I'll if you'll if you'll let me, I'll take the heavier end of the fishing rod. And uh, I'll go to the the river's edge, and I'm gonna try to whack a fish with it. <laughs> I'm just gonna examine the top half of the. I just point at this, um, point at the the break on, and I'll be like, I think I've found your problem with your uh, fishing issues, sir. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be enjoyable. <laughs> so, what do you mean I'm doing it wrong? What do you mean I was broke? They're you know, trying to get in your face about it. Well, he's distracted which, and tying his laces together. Which face is he getting into? Uh, uh, both, both of yours. I mean, there's five of them there. So, okay. you know, one one gets in yours, Asa. One gets in yours, Scott. I'm going to uh, hold the rod up in his face and say, well, you take the heavy end, you find the fish, and you whack it on the head. That's how you catch it. That's not the way I was taught. Well, then you uh, was taught wrong. Actually, I was, I'm going to hand, because uh, I got my, uh, like I said, I got brewing supplies, so I got beer on me at all times. And I just I just kind of crack open a bottle. I go, hey, why don't you guys pass this around? Uh, kind of like a, uh, a persuasion check. <laughs> kind of like, uh, we, don't, kind of, uh, we don't want trouble around here. We don't want really want any trouble. <laughs> Some here of the beer. I mean, dog, the drink. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So they they respond uh, in, incredibly uh, well to this tactic, and you know they, they 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 take the drink and they continue on back towards town, and you guys are able to set off along your merry way. Does one of them fall? One of them does fall, <laughs> and the 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 four of them point and laugh raucously, causing quite the scene, causing some of them to fall over themselves. <laughs> and it becomes an utter, you know, cra craze fest for, you know, the next couple minutes as they try to right themselves and not spill too much of their free beer. I high-five my invisible mage hand. How dark <laughs> is this... Uh... 
How dark is this ale? Oh, the ales I brew, um, they're barley wines. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so Lewis will take a sip, and he will trying to be like, uh, trying to be discreet. He will spit it out, and then like try to walk behind the group, just kind of pouring it out as he goes. <laughs> All right, so that's on that's on you guys as to whether or not you want to uh, observe this and react in kind. What the hell is he um, doing? <laughs> quick question: How long has the constable been gone? Days. Days. Hmm. All right. And he is he is very much not the adventuring type. Oh no. Um, all right. Uh, shall we press on then? I'm eager to yeah, do I so. Think, yeah, the, the idea of following a bunch of drunks around just doesn't sound like much fun to me. I oh, deal with those every oh, damn night. <laughs> but they're not, it's not like they're, they're packed up for like overnight, like travel or anything, I take it. Like they're not, you know, they would have gone out last night and come in this morning sort of thing yeah, rather they, than... Yeah, so that it's not like they would have seen the the constable. As you said that about your idea of following around a bunch of drunks is not your idea of a good time. As I'm at the back of the group of the the four of you, I just kind of go, "Yeah, right." Like I do it all the time, so <laughs> <laughs> I have to admit, I do have a little tinge of hangover this morning. By the way, but. <laughs> well, well, well. This time, I see that they're not all sitting down, so they're more likely to fall over. And you know, you know what? That could be entertaining. But now, nah, let's get to the cavern. Less, less, less need for for sawdust. Should they, uh, should the contents of the, their stomachs upset them? But it's not on a it's not on a floor that you need to walk on. Let's just say this is barley wine that I make. Barley wine's a thirteen percent. Uh, beer and it's potent and uh if they make it back to town i'll be surprised <laughs> <laughs> well some of it was spilled in their you know falling over nonsense so. if oh. if uh if they're spilling that barley wine uh you can look around and find that sharp is nowhere to be found <laughs> dog dog where you gotten off to dog get back here you bloody mutt he is, a big, is, is, is the biggest beer drinker of the lot. All right. So as you guys continue your, your travels down the river, it takes about an hour or two, and you get to the, the waterfall, and you're at the top. It cascades off. You can see the giant rock that has kind of shifted and moved. You're uncertain as to how the earthquake caused this to uh, appear or to, to shift and move. It's not anything that looks like it's big enough to have, you know, for it to have fallen or come off of. This is literally the top of a waterfall, but yet here it is, and you're standing off at the, you know, the deep cliff face. It goes about 50 feet down uh, from here. You know, it it would it would take uh, a, not a difficult climb, but not an easy climb to get down, or you could travel a little ways to either side to find an easier way down. But you can um, see that the water is split and that there is, you know, something behind the waterfall because it now looks like that there's two distinct smaller waterfalls. Uh, Chirgon is going to make it very clear that he is happy to um, to just climb down and leaves it up to the others to see what they say um, uh, to, and, and, and uh, offers to, to Zegris that if uh, if he wants to, to cling on to, to, to Chirgon's back as he climbs down, then that's fine. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't know if I have enough strength to actually hold on to you, let alone climb oh, down myself. No. Oh, uh, no. So how how deep does the water look right there? Um, 
Then you want to make an intelligence check? Sure. Wait, that's scary. <laughs> oh. 19. 19? The water is, um, you know, cascading down with some decent force. You're going to guess, though, that, that down below is probably not more than 20 feet. You're not you're not getting into a massive um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You're not you're not it's not cascading down into a massive well. Um, but, but a twenty eight pound cobalt should be okay. You think so? <laughs> it's still perfect. Uh, I'm jumping. <laughs> Doing a swan dive. So, so I'm just like. Um, uh, it shouldn't be too hard to uh, to to uh, to descend from the. the wait, what were you? All right. So uh, you want to make an acrobatics check? Yeah. And, and as I'm diving, you hear last one down gets the last loot. Oh well, now I'm climbing yeah. down. That's not good. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> with my modifier, that's a negative one. Oh God. Oh, you did say you athletics, right? You rolled a one, and you have a negative two strength. Yep. Sorry, it's, it's acrobatics, not athletics. Oh, well, that makes it better. It's a four. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> not not proficient. Nope. <laughs> it's my second one of the night already. Just so you know. So, the dice, the, dice, the dice were actually uh, kind. Uh, you you splat on the on the surface of the water, taking six points of damage, and the splat echoes. Uh, you are now soaked, sinking, and in pain. You hear? You can have the loot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, Scott, do you want to make a uh, athletics check as you begin to climb down? Why not? Uh, and I just rolled a natural twenty. What a great thing to roll that on! All right, so yeah, you, uh, must be nice. <laughs> so you found the uh, the perfect course of how, of how to get down here. Do I use my hand axe to sort of just chisel out a couple of things to make it a bit easier for everyone else to climb down? Absolutely. So anybody that wants to follow his course can do so with advantage. I will do that. Oh. This one was athletics? Yes, sir. Uh, 13. 18 modified. Uh, I got a 19. 18 and 19, you have no problems. Uh, Asa, you, you wind up slipping once. Give me a second check. See if you can All catch right. yourself. Uh, 19. All right. So you managed to catch yourself. Um, you you uh, take a couple points of uh, damage as you – sorry, three three damage as you scrape up against the wall trying to, to trying to catch yourself before you hit bottom, and you're able is to Zegris, climb the rest of the way down. Is Zegris okay to get out of the water? Yeah. He's, oh, okay. He's, he's just kind of – I don't know if you've ever belly flopped or – Back flopped and you get that stinging pain. Uh, good times. That's kind of what he's <laughs> going for. Good times. So, the uh, the tail of the giant who who created the the East River. Uh, it says that this you know you know gorge at the bottom of this. Uh, waterfall is where he decided to sit down and take a break before continuing it on his uh, his journey in a, in a you know southerly southerly direction thank God it was a break uh, that giant had a big booty so if you you know turn and look at the waterfall you know you see there is clearly work stone. Uh, what what surprises you is a uh, a man or 
a humanoid, you can't, you're not close enough to see his face, uh, you know, standing in between the, the waterfall and he's looking in your direction, direction. Dressed in, in black leathers, he's, you know, clearly a, a man of the road, a, a traveler, not a, not a local, if you will. Mm-hmm. Greetings! So, uh, uh, Lewis look around and say, do you live here? So if you guys actually, you know, assemble and, and, and come close, uh, you can see that the, the man is uh, you know, human. Ma- many, uh, many winters has he had. You can see the, the lines in his eyes. And you know, he's He's kind of giving you a look. He's sizing you up. No, I do not live here. Who are you all? I'm hiding under the bear with a massive nine for snake. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dog. Mike, you're just hiding under the, the balls tonight. Uh, I'm. I'm just gonna say. Uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, Kept, kept, uh, Captain Auriferous, formerly of the, uh, the Royal Infantry. And, and what are you doing? If that means in- Besides, uh, admiring this magnificent, uh, uh, dis- display we have here. Making small talk with one of the locals. Is that all? I uh, I I'm, I'm I kinda, just going to take this. I kind of step forward and hold out my hand. Evander Hart's song. I am a cleric of the Old Faith's Temple, representing all the temples of the realm, and serving most recently in this area. And uh, I am uh, the. Uh, Guide, if you will, the spiritual guide of our merry little band here. Uh, what what finds you out here in this peculiar location, sir? Well, I am. And he kind of like looks o- looks over his left shoulder. I am the keeper of the crypt. And which crypt would this be again? He looks looks behind him, looks over your shoulders at the uh, the. Orchards in the distant beyond that belongs to the, the Willow family. The Willow family crypt, of course. Hmm. And where is this crypt? Oh, yeah, it's again, right here. He again looks over his left shoulder. Isn't it obvious? Man, I thought the ranger was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's. I'm not offended. I'm. Moderately simple, it's okay. Have you seen others coming to this location recently? I have indeed. Is there one that you are looking for? Um, kind of, uh, kind of, I, I gesture my hand up to around, probably around six feet. Uh, he's about this big, balding, portly fellow. Uh, this coin bush is this big. He, he's ugly and has pale, pale skin. You seek the constable. Yes, I have. I have seen him go in. He pulls out a uh, a, a pouch that's, um, you know, not bulging, but definitely has some 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 weight inside. And he pulls out. You have him in your pocket too. He pulls out a handful of uncut, rough gemstones. Um, uh, Chirgon's eyes just bulge slightly. The, uh, the constable paid me to, to get inside where there was supposed to be more. And when was that? I showed him in a couple of days ago. And he hasn't come out yet? I have not seen him. I was waiting here for his return. 
And he paid you to go into the crypt. Yes. Yes. I had him five copper. <laughs> He looks at the money and just lets it drop into the uh, the waters. Ha <laughs> ha, you thought I was stupid. I could have told you those shiny rocks are more valuable than your jingly coins. Uh, Chico's going to be like, so you're not really interested in those because... And, and then he just grabs them. <laughs> <laughs> you're grabbing the, the coins? Yeah, I'm not going to waste five copper. <laughs> Well, that's not even halfway decent tip. <laughs> I'm pouting. Uh, so, uh, if if you are if you are looking for the constable, I, I I could lead you in that direction. Perhaps he could pay me for his safe So, what exactly are we <clears throat> paying you for? Oh, you don't need to what would our what would our money be? What services would our money be? Isn't it obvious? He will lead us in here and then stand outside for days, assuming everything is fine. I I, I can come with you and help you to find the constable, and I am hoping to get payment from him. Um, do you mind if I make a little insight roll on this guy? Sure. Straight dice roll. Oh, no, I'm proficient in insight. Okay, nice. 19. You don't think that he's, you know, uh, you don't think he's lying? There might be uh, there might be something he's not telling, but he's definitely not lying. I'm going to I'm going to try to use my my natural charm um, and see if, if I can just persuade him. Um, I, you know, I don't feel right giving you money that's intended for the coffers of the temple. And you look like a man who respects the, the, the many gods of the all faiths. Uh, and I am after all here to do God's work. Uh, so if you would allow us to pass in here and, uh, continue the work of the gods, um, and that's going to be <laughs> uh, with my uh, plus five. That is an 11 on persuasion. I, I, I believe you have me wrong, sir. I am not trying to take your money. I'm hoping that if maybe I help you, a constable will, will pay me the rest of what he said he would. He would. <laughs> oh! Are there any small gemstone-sized rocks on the ground near us? Gemstone size rocks? Um sure, why not? As they're talking, I would like to try switching things in the bag with gemstones to replace my five copper. Alright, good luck. Give me a roll. Are you That's a toy. This? Is that with the mage hand? Yes. Okay. <gasps> All right, so um, somewhere around there. So what? What color uncut gemstone did you did you get? I have no idea. If it was in the bag, then I just rolled one or pulled one. Right. Unless you want me to pick, and then it's blue. Okay, you you you've got a, a un, uncut blue gemstone. Perfect. I'm too scared to try it again. <laughs> well, you certainly got your five copper back. Yes. Well, I don't know about the rest of you. It does not matter to me either way if this fine gentleman accompanies us inside. I do feel as though we are probably capable. Um, and he does, after all, want to receive due payment from the constable. You say you're a keeper here. Does that mean you know your way around the inside? Uh, I, I have been in, in the crypt before, yes. Is anything Perhaps out of the way since the latest seismic events? Um, not nothing appears out of place. Mm. 
there's obvious danger if the if, if the constable has not returned, so I would advise you remain here, good sir. I don't know how well you knew the constable. He was kind of an idiot. <laughs> I don't Sharp know how is gonna, obvious danger there might be. Sharp is going to come up and smell the guy. Um, does he have any food on him? He does not. Okay. Be careful, he'll lick your face. <laughs> Sharp uh, kind of snarls a little bit and then steps back. And uh, why are we still standing out here? Shouldn't we go and find the constable and put him in a pocket? <sighs> Let's go. Hi. I, I have many pockets. So you walk uh, a little ways in until there's a, uh, you know, a, a large double door, and you know, he pulls pulls out a, a key, uh, un unlocks it, and when I say large double door, I'm talking like ten foot tall, five foot wide, and it's. Weighty as it, it's, it's pushed in. What are you guys doing as far as light? Um, does vision. anybody does anybody not have dark vision? I believe that's a that's not a dragonborn trait, so I don't have it. Yeah, neither are boobs. Uh, I'm good. Um, I got it. I I'll look around and find a. Uh, a good sized, um, a couple of good sized rocks, not huge, but uh, something that they could easily carry. And I will cast the light can trip on each of these rocks. All right. Or wait, I can only cast it on one. I think I only cast it on one. So I'll cast light on one rock, making it a, in a source of illumination and hand it to uh, the dragonborn. Okay. Um, he should go first. I'm going to ask if you can like cast it on my shield, just so that I don't have, you know, so I can just use that. I look at this rock that's all lit up. I just <laughs> sigh. I mean, the light, the light goes out, and I, I just reach over and touch your shield, and it just kind of goes, and now your shield is glowing. I mean, no, no disrespect to the divine powers you called upon to. I mean, I, 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 I must assure you, I am perfectly in awe of that. It's just from a practical standpoint, I have two hands and a sword and a shield. How do you expect me to carry the stone? No need to explain further, and I give a, an exaggerated bow. May the light of Lathander guide our path. So, several statues exalting the yes. family members. Two featuring spring water fonts welling from within. They raise dais to the west, give the impression of an audience chamber instead of a crypt. Dais supports two thrones, furthering the impression. A tapestry illustrating a violent storm in the middle of a dense forest <coughs> hangs behind the thrones. Curtaining the hall to the double doors, this room is... Uh, hanging from the ceiling are several... Uh, sorry, my apologies. Hanging from the ceiling are several victims in, stra in, ver in various stages of decay. The chamber is filled with thick spider webs. Oh, goody. Oh, goody. I wonder if any of them owe me money. The, 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 the keeper, he kind of blanches at the, the victims hanging in spider webs and he starts to backpedal. Um, yes, I, as I was suggesting, um, we'll wait. We'll join you outside soon. And um, I'm actually going to put my sword away, and I'm going to ignite a torch. I'm going into stealth mode. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll pull out my bow and look at the uh, the guy who's leaving and go. You're leaving so soon, it's just about to get fun. I undo his belt so his pants fall down. All right. Um. By the way, 19 on the stealth roll. <laughs> okay. Yeah, me and the bear will also stealth. Uh, dog. Me and the dog will also stealth. <laughs> You're right. Um. All right. So, out of the shadows, 
do not see the the creature move. A uh, a, a spider lashes out at the cleric. Oh, of course. He learned from Dave. Take yeah. the cleric out first. Uh, it's actually what the what the, the what the die roll picked. Uh, his his fangs scrape against your your armor, not finding purchase. You guys want to roll initiative and please put that in the chat for me. Hootie hoo. That's a plus four, isn't it? Yeah. All right. All right, waiting on one more. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I don't. Sure we I don't think we stealthed on this spider. All Pretty right, sure so it left us. Kevin, uh, what is your dex? Uh, my dex is plus five. Okay, you. You have a twenty dex. No, my debt my debt okay, my dex is sixteen. Okay. Um give me another D twenty roll. Give you another D twenty roll? Yeah, just just flat flat roll, let me know what you got. All right, flat roll. Three. <laughs> um, okay, please roll again. This is crazy. <laughs> A lot. You win. <laughs> one. <laughs> one? Yeah. All right. Uh, so uh, I, I haven't seen that many, uh, you know, that that many ties in a while. <laughs> so the uh, the the spider is, you know, still sitting there looking at at the cleric. So he's going to swing again. Of course he is. And that time he is actually going to hit. So please make a constitution saving throw. Uh, at a minus one, that's an eight. All right. So you take a total of 10 damage, and uh, you are paralyzed. Uh, so, Kevin, you're up. Okay. I am going to cast. Hold on. Ah, I need to grab my glasses. Dissonant whispers. Okay. So that's a. Uh, uh, wisdom saving throw, failed save, 3d6 psychic damage. All right, he has failed. And, I'm sorry? He failed. Okay, so 3d6 right. psychic damage and immediately must use its reaction, if available, to move as far away and as, as speed allows away from away from us. Okay. And who gets forced. an opportunity attack? Uh, forced movement does not. Oh, because he's using his reaction, that's right. So, uh, who is next to the cleric? Um, well, I was taking point. Were you next? Were you second in line, or? Sounds like he came behind us. To tell you the truth. True. I was saying he went. We came from the side. Okay. Because you guys were, you know, staring at the staring at the victims, staring at the, uh, you know, the tapestry. So I am not next to the cleric. I probably would have started to branch away from the group, actually. i got to roll 3d6, don't I? Yes, so. you do, sir. I'm still under the bear. 3d6. Okay, hold on. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Three. Five. Three damage? No, five. I got it. One, two, and two. <laughs> oh, wow. Wait, did I, did I do that right? Yeah, it's 3d6. Five. Okay, five, five damage to uh, to said spider. Apparently, no one was within five feet of the cleric, so no no uh, tax opportunity. Scott, you're up, sir. Okay, so just a quick check: uh, Is there any other um, 
Is there any other signs of spiders that I can just see without effect, uh, you know, yeah. without using up an action or something? Uh, no, there was there was only the the one spider, and is now thirty feet away. Okay, uh, I will. Uh, I'm going to drop my torch that I just lit. I'm going to move, uh, position myself in front of everyone else. Uh, draw my sword and ready. So I'm. Uh, if the spider comes within range again, I'm going to. Or any any hostile comes in range, I'm going to attack. Okay. Uh, Asa. All right, so I'm going to, uh, you know, ready my uh, arrow and go ahead and take a shot at him, and I'm going to cast an Snaring Strike. Um, okay. So that, uh, that will effectively happen when I shoot him with my bow. Okay. <clears throat> and I rolled a one. All right, this has been a lot of ones, so I will remind you guys. I always start with you guys having inspiration. Oh. I would like to just spend that now. I would love to spend that now. I'm going to do that. <laughs> okay, that's a total of 15. All right, so it uh, it scurries out of the way of your, of your bow shot. Okay, and the ensnaring strike is wasted then? Oh, it's the next time you hit a creature, so it's still in effect. Um, then... Me and my bear are going to move up our full speed on either side of it in a sort of pincer motion. So I think that if it's 30 feet away, you probably can both reach it this turn. Okay. And uh, that is the end of my turn. All right. Uh... Take him. All right. So, Jake, do you want to make a further constitution save? We'll see what happens. See if you can shake off this effect. <laughs> That's now a four. You wish to use your inspiration. I do wish to use my inspiration to get an 11. 11 total? Correct. Okay. Um, so the, the poison from the spider's bite seems to have, seems to have affected, affected you severely. So as you collapse, you begin to froth at the mouth. In your subsequent turns, you can begin making death saves. Oh, oh fantastic. Ah, uh, was fast. Mike, you're up, sir. So, I'm just going to throw a dagger at it. But I'm going to get within 10 feet, so I, or 20 feet, so I don't have disadvantage. Okay, easily done. I'll just pick him up and place him on the hit. What was that? I'll just pick him up and place him on the Oh, sorry. You said 21 to hit? Yeah, that hits. Yes. Uh, so 5 for the dagger and 11 for the sneak attack. All right, so a total of 16. Uh, all right. And is that the bottom of the order? I'm going to use my bonus action to attempt to hide against the wall. Okay. If that's possible. It is absolutely doable. 17? All right. So you do not think he sees you. Perfect. So, having uh, having one victim succumb to his poison, he moves on. Uh, Scott, he actually uh, strikes yeah. you, moves, moves in. So, so does reading? he move? Yes. So you can, does you he can... move past me and the bear? He has he has enough movement that. He skirts, or were you talking about you actually moved up to him? Yeah, we moved up to him on both sides. Okay. All right, well, then he can just choose to attack, attack you then. He doesn't need to move in on Scott. Okay, that's Aww. fine. He can attack me. I just wanted to attack of opportunity if he decided to move. I thought you were on the the sides of him ready to ready to move in. No, no, no. So, we we right. advanced on him. All right, yeah, so I'm, just, I'm just standing there defensively like an asshole as these guys just like run in front. I'm like, well, why did I bother? 
<laughs> all right, so uh, I'll protect you all. Oh, you're on, you're off. Okay. Ow. All right, so um, Asa, he, I was he la lands a strike on you solidly. Okay. Uh, that is a total of 20 damage. Oh, oh, damn. And please make a constitution save. I will do just that. <laughs> um, that's a seven. <laughs> All right. Can, have my ins can I give him my inspiration? Uh, you <laughs> absolutely can. Oh, all right. Don't waste it. Uh, that was not a waste. Uh, that's an 18. Okay, so you have you have passed your your save. Uh, your neck for the next round, you have disadvantage on your attack rolls. Uh, but you have staved off the effects of this poison. Okay. But you still took the 20 damage. Yeah. Yeah, that hurt. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Scott. Me and my bear are used to hunting in a certain pattern. Oh, uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Kevin, my, you are... My, my, pompous, my pompous character can, oh. can totally be okay with, with someone, yeah. you know, rushing ahead of him. It's fine. Does he still... Uh, um... Does the original target have to still do a constitution saves, or is that part done? What was that? Constitution saves. Uh, do, uh, the, the original guy got, got hit. Um, does he still have to do constitution saves at this point? No, he's, he's, he's well, technically, I mean, he's, he's, he's on death saves. He is, he is frothing at the mouth and convulsing. Okay, so, then what I'm thinking if, if, if you've well. got a if you've got a cure that might that might do something. <laughs> the the irony is the the cleric with all the healing is the one that's down first. I I apologize. It is the, <laughs> I set you guys up hey. in an order so that I could have like random rolls, and I rolled a four. You were number four. Yeah, that's the way it rolls. Just roll with it. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's a bonus action. Okay, shoot. I can do that. Okay, let's try. Healing with? Well, I'm sorry. I'm just... Okay. Am I close enough to stab this thing? <laughs> uh, you could move close to be able to stab it. Okay. All right, because I got a rapier. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull the rapier. All right. So let's see. One D twenty plus five. Seventeen. Seventeen is your is your number. And it's a one D eight plus three. Oh, where'd it go? Ten. Ten damage. All right. And as a bonus action, I'm going to uh, cast Healing Word on the Cleric. And actually, I'm going to cast it as a second level, so that's 2d4. Okay. 2d4 plus... Uh, Charisma modifier? Yeah. It's 2d4 plus the uh, my modifier, which I think... That's the spell attack, which is 5, right? No, no, it's not. It's not your your total. It's just your charisma modifier. So, what is your what is your charisma? Oh, my charisma is sixteen. All right, so two d four plus three. Two d four plus three. Do you want to roll it or do you want Jake to roll it? No, I'll roll it. Wouldn't two d four? Wouldn't that three. be five? Wouldn't that be five? That's what I was thinking. It says uh, attack bonus is it's five. It's your spellcasting yeah. modifier, which is your charisma mod plus your proficiency bonus. Okay, then it's two d two d four plus five. Here we go. Is that right, Ted? Uh, no, it's it is just no. the modifier. It's just the stat modifier, not the yeah. not the proficiency. Yeah, not All not right. for when you're adding. I rolled I rolled two ones, so jeez. Well, at least you're not dying anymore, Jake. You have four hit points. Okay. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Uh, two plus no five hit points. Five, yeah. So am I no longer in the unconscious state? Correct, sir. Fantastic. <laughs> I really made this guy a jack of all trades. He has a little bit of everything. You uh, you do not feel well, um, <laughs> clearly. 
as your as your body was racked by this venom. Oh, I I um, absolutely vomit the moment uh, as he comes to. He just goes. <laughs> It's just this oh, thick really? black bile mixed with the ale of the night before. All yeah, of, he didn't all drink of my ale. Muscles, <laughs> all of your muscles feel like, you know, they, they were put through an intense workout. Everything is... All right, so uh, you have any other actions, Kevin? That's all I could, That was my bonus right there, so that's all I got. All right, so that goes to you, Scott. Okay, so uh, moving on the aggressive. Um, can I can I help out my clear help up my cleric friend before I close the distance? Yeah, sure. So I'll, I will uh, help out um, uh, Godly McCall Church, and I'll, then I'll uh, make my way over. Godly McCall Church. All church, yeah. Oh, all church. <laughs> Didn't quite catch. Yeah, Athanda. There we go. Close enough. <laughs> now I just want to be clear. I was. I'm, I'm, I. I. I, uh, I rolled a seventeen when I thought my ready was being triggered, and now I've rolled a four. So that modifies up to a ten. Does a ten hit the nice Spider-Man? Uh, a ten is not. That's just peachy. <laughs> <sighs> Good times. All right, uh, Asa, you're up, sir. Okay, so I have disadvantage uh, for my attack rolls? Yes, sir. All right, so I'm going to uh, grunt at Sharp, and he is going to swing his massive dog paws at the spider. He's not Since he does not have bite. disadvantage. Uh, I figured he's a bear. He'd paw, but... Either way. I don't know. I, I, what, what, bite is the actual attack, so I was just going to well. flavor it as... And yeah, you can do it. Do what you do what you like, sir. <laughs> right. Um, so to hit is um. Twenty three. Twenty three is gonna hit solidly. All right. Now while I roll damage, uh, he needs to make a strength eleven save or be knocked prone. Uh, he's got it. And that's a wonderful six damage. Six damage. Um. <laughs> That's a nice way of getting around the uh, the disadvantage. Just yeah. have your dog do it. Yeah. Do I need to roll another save, or am I good? Oh, no, you're good. <laughs> okay. And the effect is gone? Yes, sir. Cool. Uh, and that brings us to Jake. So having just been helped up by the Dragonborn, I'm going to painfully turn. Where is he? And... I just summon gods, all of them, any gods. I just <laughs> slur their names together. As Anybody I summon, listening? <laughs> as I slam my hands together and attempt to blast them with a guiding bolt. Uh, are you? <laughs> Inspiration. I already used it. That is a critical fail. I was so affected by this poison, I imagine, if you'll allow this, Ted, as I slam my hands together, instead of a guiding bolt, it's just a brilliant flash of light that blows my hands kind of backwards, just kind of like a... <laughs> that just illuminates the room for a moment, and the bolt goes nowhere. Uh, so it's not, going to, it's not going to affect, and if you don't want to do this, I'll, I'll, totally, I'll totally take it back. But I'd like to take this a little bit further, and you get knocked on your arse. Get what? You get knocked on your arse. Oh, you absolutely. It's one of those, like, if it were a movie, it goes... <laughs> it goes into slow motion as I'm flying back, my feet in the air. <laughs> as acted out by Kevin. <laughs> and I, I hit the ground sliding up against the wall from this... And the last thing you just hear me say is that as the everything continues, this is not my day. <laughs> All right, so uh, that was uh, Jake. So Mike, you're up. <laughs> All right, what I want to do depends on how much uh, more damage I think the spider can take. 
Uh, it's it's looking pretty ragged, ragged, and it's kind of you know you know combat on three sides and a wall behind. So right. you know, does there have a spider can probably get up the wall without a problem? But. Does there happen to be one of those hanging bodies on top of it or above it? Yeah, of course. Okay, well, I want to use prestidigitation to, like, burn the webbing holding it for it to drop on the spider. Okay. Um, sure, we'll I give can. that a shot. What would you like me to roll? Uh, make an attack roll with dex and proficiency. Uh, 18 on the die. Okay. Um... You're not guiding the thing, so I really can't give it a sneak. That's uh, fine. I... So, cavern's 20 foot tall. I'll give it 2d6 fall damage. You want to roll or you want me to roll it? Uh, you probably roll better. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what the heck? Um, so, the, the body falls and lands on the thing's left side mangling two of its legs so like it's it's moving very uh, uh you know with a with a with a big limp and it is definitely moving much much slower in addition to that but it is it is not down uh, so it's a uh, you know, it can't get to to you but it is going to lash out at Scott Cold. Bring it. Uh, and my, my my dice are hot, so you're gonna have a uh, a, a con save to to make Scott. Oh. Is... Was that? An... Hang on. What what did it hit? Oh, you you got my armor class there, right? I I got an 18 on the die, sir. Oh God. Uh, con save. Oh. The... Oh, pretty good. Um, 16. All right, so you take 13 points of damage, and you have disadvantage on uh, attack rolls for the next round as uh, you you manage to shake off the effects of this poison, but you can feel it like kind of tightening and constricting your, your, your muscles, giving you that, uh, that intense workout. Uh, and then... Just like boot camp. <laughs> uh, you are up, Kevin. All right, I'm going to cast uh, Enhance Ability, Bear's Endurance, on the fighter. Now, that doesn't give me a bonus on strength atta on attack, attack rolls, does it? Part, uh, you have advantage on constitution checks because you're going to have to make another. Oh, I am? Yep. You failed the last one, right? No, he passed. Oh, he passed? I thought he failed. Yeah. Oh, never yeah. mind. Uh, do, 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 if you want to give, throw out some bardic inspiration, that might be handy. Uh, bardic inspiration. I, I can do that as a... Uh, oh, yeah. That's a, that's a bonus, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, in that case, okay, so, okay, I thought he failed that. Um, hold on a second. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, now nah, I'm not gonna do that. All right, I'm gonna stab, I'm gonna stab him with a rapier again. <laughs> so, right. so that's a one d twenty. Yes, sir. All right, one d twenty plus five. Fifteen. Fifteen is going to miss, sir. Whoa! Now Yikes. I'll do the bard. Now I'm gonna do the bardic inspiration. And who are you giving it to? I am giving it to uh, fighter. The fighter is next on the initiative. That's the way I'm thinking. Is I'll do it on the fighter, okay. so you can use it on uh, uh, weapon damage rolls or reaction to increase your AC. Is there a third? Uh, attack rolls, saving throws. 
Okay, AC is good. I'm actually not going to be attacking this round since I'm attacking with disadvantage, but I am going to be using a distract action. Uh, so I'm going to be like hissing and yelling at the at the spider, banging my sword against the shield, and basically distracting it to ground advantage on the next melee attack. Okay. okay. Which will be me, right? I believe so. Yep. Okay. Um, I'm going to uh, set my bow down and quickly pull out my two short swords and make my first attack with advantage. And that is a nat 19, so uh, okay. 24. All right, you kill it. What happens? <clears throat> All right. So I take... I like crouch down and gently set down my bow and then quickly pull out both of my swords and just do this like cross slice motion right across its uh un like just under its mandibles and under its uh Head. under its pincers uh and then as it like is choking to death i'm gonna uh drop one of the swords and reach out and grab one of the the, the teeth the band and just chop it off and stuff it into my pouch <laughs> all right Watch. so uh you always got to take a prize. Uh, so you have you have slain the, the creature, and it, it appears that there are several more victims that have succumbed to whatever uh, wh whatever poisons this thing has, has has laid. But there is certainly no life left in any of the the bodies that are strewn up above. And Only, I have uh, to say that that is one vile poison that this thing has. Good God, you tell me. Um, Only one thing to do with all dead. This Oops. time, this time, as Ethander pulls himself to his feet, he carefully enunciates several different gods' names: Lathander, Tyr, Misara. Zeus. Dickinson. Okay. And what I'm doing is I'm doing a prayer of healing and myself and everybody in the party that's taken damage will get 11 hit points back. Nice. Almost back at full. I'm barely more can than take, halfway. Could we take a short rest? Would that be possible? What do you guys think? Um, I think that I, I think speaking as a fighter, I'd probably be best suited to take a short rest a little bit later, because uh, I haven't expended any of my like nifty re reusable abilities. I think we should just sit on that for now if, if everyone's okay. Yeah, this place doesn't look safe. I twist my neck, and you just hear this loud popping sound as several of my vertebrae kind of seem to snap back in the place. Ugh, I'm good. We're just getting started. Um, so I'll, <clears throat> I'll start. Is it easy enough to start cutting down these bodies, Ted? Yeah, uh, you know, a little, little bit of fire damage. Uh, you, you can easily, uh, you know, deal with deal with the webbing. Uh, you just don't want to be under them when they fall. I'm no just What was that, Mike? I just said obviously. Oh. <laughs> I think uh, from here on out, it's it's wise for us to proceed cautiously. Big words for an orc, I know. Um, I'm going to pa cast Pass Without a Trace. <laughs> I was just about to do the same thing. Oh, oh you got that? Nice. Does that mean we get plus 20? <laughs> plus 10. <laughs> plus 10. Oh, if How many people does it work on? Just yourselves? Or, or... I think it's the whole group. Whole party. You're, uh, making you and your companions. Doesn't have a number. Nice. It works on an entire it's, army, right? Every creature oh within thirty God. feet of you. So you can get a you whole just, army just in get the, feet. Yeah, just just everyone huddle for a for a hour for a hour long ritual of not being able to sneak. This is uh, this is where you use three dimensions and you just stack them all up on top of each other in a 30, <laughs> 30 foot dome. Yeah. yeah, get that spellcaster right in the middle between that third and fourth line so that they can you know they get the full. That way and that way, benefit. Efficiency cube. We'll follow the uh, the tactics of the Cholt goblin, Batiri goblins, and create. Oh yeah, stacks. got to do stacking. stacking. Battle stacks. <laughs> no, it's um, it's it's oh, cheerleader. Oh, it, it's you get cheerleader training. It's like you got to do all the pyramids. So now now you're gonna have some battle stacked goblins with pass without a trace cast on them. <laughs> I'll do the legs. Gotta see that in the game now. 
All right. So with my with my strength score of six, I'll be the legs. So <laughs> how does how does being a a fighter in a chain shirt with a glowing shield uh, impact past further trace? Well, I'm, I'm the only I'm the only one who's passing with a trace at this point, I guess. Your armor armor isn't really like squeaky and loud. That's about it. You don't leave behind. It's like, like dingly, dingly, dingly. It's like you can't be detected except for magical means. Pretty much. Well, no, no, no. That's something else. No. <laughs> is it? <laughs> is it completely pitch black in here without the light? Uh, it it, it is dark. Um, there is a little bit of light coming from behind you guys, from you know, where the waterfall is. But you know, the further into the room you go. The, the darker and darker it's going to be. Mm. The, those without dark vision will will have problems. Yeah, uh, so, and given but, that we given that we've already dealing we're already dealing with webs, I'm I'm carrying a torch anyway. So off of this room, the path continues straight at a um, you know a ten foot corridor, but the 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 audience hall that I described is pretty pretty thick. Uh, it's a it's a pretty pretty wide room, and there are four other passages off of this room. Two on the right, two on the left. Mm -hmm. Do you wish so, to go? Uh, for role play purposes, I want to backtrack. And as as I'm casting pa ca pass without a trace, I'm walking up to everyone, reaching into a pouch and just smearing ash on their face. <laughs> well, I'm, I breathe fire, so I'm okay with that. I was gonna ask what uh, what type of dragonborn are you? Uh, gold. I I actually have the 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 Fu Manchu type mustache. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not I'm not fond of the dragonborn. Everyone's you know the the coppery brassy color. I I prefer. You look like the color of your ancestor. Makes well, I was, I was just. I'm happy well, from from the person who has to paint all the miniatures in his group. I'm glad that they all look the same because I'm not like constantly. <laughs> having to paint new miniatures, but uh, ah, well. yeah, I just thought like a nice little detail, um, and and that is in fact what the uh, and that's in fact where my surname has come from, Auriferous, is because um, yeah, that's that's what all with golden it is apparently. So there you yeah. go. As we're walking down the hallways, I'll sidle up to the uh, cleric and just so uh, tell me about some of these gods. They seem uh, like names. I know a little about all of them, and all about none of them. What would you care to know? Well, uh, how do they how do they fit into culture, society? Uh, this conversation probably oh, is best to just happened off screen. Yeah, I I imagine he's just feeding you. You probably don't realize it, but he if anybody else were listening in, it's just obvious bullshit that he's feeding you. <laughs> uh, uh, anytime he makes uh, comments about, or like little anecdotes, uh, Lewis will ask about like, but how do they solve their problems if they're not hitting each other? Another lengthy discussion that's completely BS, making up a godly game of chance that they use to solve their problems. I'm just going to be like incineration. I mean, isn't that <laughs> not hitting, of course, uh, so far look, more proficient. Look, when we're done with all this, you come by the temple, we'll set you up. I'll have just a leave, leave a little bit of money, you know. <laughs> I, I'm like, okay, I'll be, the, I'll be like, well, that does sound appealing until, until you like leave a bit of money. Like, oh, I'm busy watching my scales. <laughs> So, uh, what direction do you guys wish to go? Left. Uh, we always go left. I was going to say, got to go left. All right. So, you find yourself uh, uh, to uh, another another set of small double doors that are locked. Uh, I'm, I'm just being like, don't worry. I have I have exactly what we need to get us out of this situation, and I just pick up the cobalt and place them in front of the door. <laughs> uh, Are you that actually, 
Picking locks is no longer a thief only skill, isn't it? Or is that the case? No. Uh, I but think I, we can anyone can be anyone can be proficient with thieves tools with like the right background or whatever, or feet maybe. It's criminal. Like, criminal uh, you know, if you take skilled as the feet, and instead of choosing a skill, you take the uh, you know a tool proficiency. <laughs> No, so, I'm just, uh, I got a very high dex, but um, not really a lot of picking locks. <laughs> so, no, Mike, are you that nice. are you that kind of thief? No, no, no. I'm I'm the kind of thief that I can definitely stand off to the side and have my mage hand do it just in case it's trapped. Okay. You want to give me a roll, sir? Fifteen. Okay. The. Uh... Lock clicks open. You uh, open the doors. A thick, hard patina coats everything except where uh, where someone has hastily searched the room. There's a chest of drawers. There are several beds and a curved desk, a chair, a desk, a mirror, and, of course, a chamber pot. Is this a normal thing for a crypt to have? Uh, this looks like a bedroom. It does not look anything like it should be a crypt. Sharp would probably go up and start sniffing at the chamber pot. Uh, it is clearly not seen use in a very long time. He'll pot tip it over with his paw and kind of sniff and then kind of look at, at Lewis a little sad. Um, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll pull out a piece of meat and toss it to him. So what are you guys doing? Uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna have a look at the, uh, the desk, I guess, just, uh, sort of, just a cursory shift around of all the stuff on the desk, just to see what's what there. Wow. No, are there any doors out of this room, or? Just the one you came through. Okay. This is this is clearly a bedroom. When I walk in front of the mirror, it scares the crap out of me, so I throw a dagger at my reflection. <laughs> uh, make an attack roll. Oh god! You kill yourself. <laughs> Natural one. Did you really? Even, yeah. He gets he gets confused about which one's the reflection. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere around there. Mike, I have to say, you have got, you know, the, the crazy luck with dice. Uh, I don't know, man. So uh, you throw a dagger and it goes nowhere near, um, no, nowhere near the mirror. Which, which one of you wants to, uh, you know, have a dagger come flying in your direction and, and how do you react? You know what? Oh, roll. <laughs> you know what? With the way things have been going, I imagine it probably stabs Ethander right in the axe. <laughs> it's a sneak attack. Like no, no, there's no, there's no damage that's being done by this. this is... No, I, I am, I imagine he's kind of like just poking at the, the bed sheets and just kind of bends over slightly. You know that thing where you like bend over and stick one leg up as you're looking under something. And as I do that, just suddenly I get hit. It's just like in between the pieces of the scale mail, just enough to get that little sharp prick of the tip to go, ah! God. It's okay. All right, Jake. It's just the tip. <laughs> for, for that, Jake, uh, I, will, I will give you your inspiration back. <laughs> oh, thank God. Uh, I'm going to awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. I don't think the constable is in here. Um, actually, the, the was the was the constable one know. of the bodies in the other room? Like, did we? Cause do we? I'm gonna actually, if I can search for secret doors, just uh, just kind of take a feel around the room. That's a Scott brings up a good point. We did check all the bodies, and we didn't see the constable. Uh, I, I will I will absolutely allow you to retcon that. You check the bodies. None of them are constable things. And can I, can I, can we, I, I was going to do a bunch of things before, like, we got distracted, but, like, can I do, like, a medicine roll or something like that, or can I get my cleric, can I get a cleric to sort of just have a look and see how long these bodies have been here? 
We'll take a look. And 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 let's be fair, I'm looting the bodies as well, because you know. <laughs> um, I got a sixteen on medicine to assess how long the bodies have been here. Uh, they they have been here you know, just a few days. There is nothing of value on these bodies. Would you, would you say that they look like I don't know cheap mercenaries? They they do in fact. How about that? So, so pre looted pre looted bodies. That is a concern. Like the spider, I mean. Spiders wouldn't just grab a. Uh, they wouldn't just string up people after picking their pockets. They would, you know, they would kill them and hang them up. They wouldn't. They wouldn't do that. So, I, I don't know about you guys, but I'm putting I'm putting two and two together here and coming up with I really I'm, I think we're going to have to need to to do something about this constable of ours. Hmm. So a voice you haven't heard it heard in a little while speaks up from the you know, from the doorway. Doesn't look like the constables in here. Should we uh, should we get moving on? Yeah, Wait, I just said that. What about we, we, uh, this? Is the guy? This is the keeper? Yeah. No, the secret door check. Um, that's one d twenty, right? I would be perception. Um, yeah. I'm sorry. I would just say it falls under under perception. You didn't see. Oh, okay. Before. When the okay, keeper so comes in, it scares the crap out of me. I go to throw my dagger at him, then realize that I never picked it back up and go pick it up. <laughs> what kind of rogue are you, are you to have only one dagger? The other one's still in the spider, as far as I know. <laughs> well, if you wish to claim that one, that's fine as well. <laughs> uh, okay. So. Are you are you going to any of the other? Uh, I would say let's take a look at the door that was right next to this one. The other one on the right. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna like tell the keeper to like maybe not be here. There's <laughs> death that happens here, and we don't want that death to happen to him. Speak so please go. He 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 uh he replies. I'll stay a little ways back in case uh, you need me for something. The, uh, yeah, to the, to the whoever's looking at the next door, it is also locked. Was uh, is the keeper human? Yes. All right, I'll uh, lean in toward the fighter whose name I forgot. I'm sorry. Uh, and I'll say, he he seems like a wise fellow. We should trust him with his decisions that he makes. Yes, unquestionably. With his brain. <laughs> uh, so, uh, does the kobold attempt to pick this lock as well? Yes, but again with my mage hand. And I got a 21 this time. Right. It, it opens without a problem. Uh, you find yet another bedroom. Again, with a chest of drawers, a chair, a desk, a mirror. It's got a chamber bot. Uh, but this one seems to be barren of any personal items, except for uh, there's a, the one bed in the room has a painting resting atop. The walls, floors, and ceilings are unlike the other room, meticulously clean. Okay, so I'm I'm basically going to go straight to the mirror this time and and just sort of block it so that we don't have any more um, cobalt incidents. The uh, the painting appears to be. A uh, young boy, probably about the age of nine. Okay. Um, does it look like anyone that we would know from this family? Uh, it, it looks like it would be the youngest son. And they died recently, didn't they? Well, no, no, none of them died recently. But the, the, right. son, the son was the one who died. Right. Uh, and is the state of this room something? I oh, know you said it was clean, wasn't it? Meticulously clean. Meticulously clean. Well, that is a concern. Um, I'm going to point to the the painting and just and just at, at the cobalt and just say, um, 
Could you uh, perhaps use your little trick to examine underneath it? I'm quite like this thing where I don't set any traps off. I may hand away. All right. Despite your caution, despite your um, how how meticulously you in, you investigate, you are unable to find anything wrong with the room or the painting. All right. What the? I'm gonna walk over and just kind of peer into the uh, chamber pot. Uh, just like the uh, just like the last room, this also appears to be a, unused for a very long time. And meticulously clean. Does a Thander seem disappointed that it's empty? Uh, looking over at the others, kind of looking at me, looking at the chamber pot, I just kind of shrug. Yeah. I'll, I'll throw him a piece of meat. <laughs> <laughs> I look uh, at him and go, it's unfortunate. Usually chamber pots have good booty. Otherwise, uh, I'll be Aww. standing by the door Aww. and I'll... <laughs> I'll turn toward the uh, towards the the uh, gatekeeper and say, "You seem like a smart, uh, well thought out the, uh, person." The, the, the keeper did not come in this room. Uh, he's he's outside the hall, isn't he? Uh, yeah, you'd have to you'd have to leave the room. To, oh, to I was going to be at the doorway of the room and talk to him from uh, there. He, okay. Unless he's too far away. Uh, he 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 uh he did not approach this room like he did the last. So, uh, a momentary question, if I may. Um, this is not normally the what one would consider the furnishings of a resting place. Would you agree? Are you asking the group or to the... The keeper. The keeper? Uh, it has a bed. <laughs> Scott, you're taking my conversation. Uh, That's what I was going to do. This, this does not uh, seem to be... Uh, uh, crypt. This is... Clearly, where people lived for some time. Didn't yes, you say clearly. you've been in here before? Uh, I I've been into the the hall. Yes. And then How did bedrooms? Can I roll inside here? Yes. Um. Never mind. Never mind. That's a nine. Okay. Is it oh. is it too late to say that I would be in hypothetically like helping with this since I'm kind of there too? I don't think or you can really help insight. Can't aid insight. Okay. You can roll it yourself, though, surely. Now I I feel like that's metagaming. gaming. All right, so uh, what do you guys do? Um, you know what? I'm gonna. Do I still have my bardic inspiration? Has the ten minutes passed? Um, it how, how, long, how, how long you were in the last room? Oh, we probably we would have spent ten minutes tossing that room, I guess. I, I don't think it'd be that. I mean, it'd probably okay. two or three. You flip open a mattress, you're yeah. looking in a chamber pot, and you're leaving. Sure. Okay. Um, all right. So I'm, I'll, I'll, I'm going to press on with this this person. So you're saying you had no idea that these rooms were here previously. Uh, and that is a 16 on Insight. No, well, I, I knew that the rooms were, were here. I just didn't go in. Which is what he said before. You believe in that. Oh, okay. I thought you said you just went to the hallway. Oh, we were in the hallway. Gosh. Um, all right. Well, that's cool. I just wasted that. That's fine. Um, have you been oh, in a I lot don't. of? Have you been in a lot of crypts that have personal bedrooms? Uh, I sadly have never been in any other crypt besides this one. So, but if uh, I may, what is there to keep precisely if you're not? If you're only entering the hallway. He holds up the key that he used to unlock the front door. Well, that's not so much keeping as being a key haver. I mean, I have a hook in my room where I can do that. Wouldn't the people who so live in these rooms keep the, the gatekeeper? 
there. I didn't catch that. Said so he's the key master and the gatekeeper. Oh God. Oh no. And I, uh, I Ghostbusters reference aside, I uh, <laughs> brought up that wouldn't the people who live here want the the key for themselves? Wouldn't they keep that on them? They, they don't live here anymore. Anyway. <laughs> We're speaking of them past tense at this time, my friend. That they have moved on from living. How long? How long have you been a keeper here? Years. Actually, I mean, yeah. I've been alive for years. That doesn't tell me much. How long is years? Shouldn't we be, Ten. Shouldn't we be looking for the constable? How many more doors are in this room? Two. Two, two more doors and then the, the hallway. Well, they're, well, they're interrogating the Crypt Keeper. I'm going to go over to the other one of the other doors. I'm going to go with you. I so, think he speaks conventional wisdom. We should be moving on. While you were interrogating him, though, I was bored and sneaking pieces of meat out of your pouch. All right, so well, when get you past my bear's perception. It's an eleven on sleight of hand. So the uh, the bear noticed, and it's trying to get the uh, the meat from your hand. I'll share it. One for you, <laughs> one for me. Two for you, one two for me. Um, so when when you go to the other side, uh, if you start at the door closest to where you came in. That door is unlocked, uh, and it seems to have had actual recent use. Uh, the previously settled dust is disturbed, and muddy footprints mark the floor. Someone has clearly been using this room. We should have gone to this one first. It was the gatekeeper and the key holder. Um, actually, I'm just going to be like, go to the gatekeeper. Mind if I see that key for a moment? He holds it up. I reach to take it. Uh, no. I'm I'm a very tactile person. I really have to see it with my hand, if you know what I mean. <laughs> For what reason? <laughs> I'm I simply we we are encountering all these locked doors, and I can't help but think as the only key that we know of to this place. Yeah, it opens the front door. Splendid. So let's see if it opens anything else. Look, I am. Um, I, I. What do you wish? What do you wish me to open? Okay, I just pick him up and take him to the door and and stick the key in and turn him. So to 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 which one? The room where I was just talking about. Yeah, the room that you're just talking about. Like, we'll close the door till it works, and you know, yeah, I'll, I'll just kick that. I've, I've got him under my arm. I kick the door closed, and I just twist. All right, uh, he's not going to allow you to manhandle him, but he uses that key. It does not fit into that lock. It is clearly the wrong size. All right, then. Haven't you ever heard to pick on someone your own size? Clearly, this man is far too shrimpy for you. It's not really my fault about that now, is it? I'm, I'm going to open the door. Seems far too late in life for a growth spurt. I'm not really interested in waiting around either way. What was that, Jake? I'm going to open the door back up that he closed for <laughs> his demonstration, and uh, I want to check out this muddy footprint used room. Okay. Are there any uh, other muddy like, footprints like in the corridor? No. Uh, and just I'm like curious. the other rooms, there are Sorry. three beds, a curved desk, chest of drawers, a chair, a desk, a mirror, and a chamber pot. But unlike the other ones, this one has seen recent use, as, as described. Somebody yeah. took the chamber pot. Um, uh, Lewis is going to be standing outside the door, uh, just okay. kind of on point with his bow ready. Um, quick check. Uh, um, those muddy footprints, are there any muddy footprints of the hallway? There is not. Would you say that they are meticulously clean? No. Oh. Right. 
Hmm. Wood lines. Well, checking for secret doors again. <laughs> you do not find any in here. Don't find any. Correct, sir. Uh, again, to the keeper, I'm just gonna say, and again to the keeper, I'm just gonna say, and where was it that you, uh, that you, that you left them again, when you when you brought the constable and his his uh, aides along last time? Uh, I I left him, you know, here in the hall. Do you know which door they were interested in first? Uh, they, they points points down the hallway, um, yeah, away from the the last, uh, you know, the la the last uh, you know door that you guys haven't investigated. You know, he says they they went off this way, and off to the left. Still think we ought to check that last door. Yep, might as well. Did we have anything at all that belonged to the constable? Oh, I'll turn to him and I'll say, do you have anything that the constable had owned? Like maybe those shiny gems? Um, I, I don't know whether you would say he owned them. Uh, what, he, what he paid me? For service? Did, did he touch them? Yes. That'll do. Pull them out. He pulls out a, a, a couple of the, the gems. Uh, Lewis grunts at uh, Shard, and Shard starts to sniff them. Uh, I'm just, I'm just like, I'm just kind of going. Oh, why was it that the, as he gets the gems out, I'm going. That one looks like a rock. <laughs> 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 I won't say it out loud. I'm just like thinking, <laughs> what kind of foolish, what kind of foolish keeper is this that he would allow himself to be paid with a rock? There goes my whole plan. Now Shard's the only going to smell friend. the rock. <laughs> uh, so he sni he luckily, sniffs. Luckily, the, I didn't uh, touch it. He uh, he sniffs cool. the, the 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 stuff in the guy's hand, and he's walking in circles around the uh, the, the keeper. Perhaps having it been on his person for several days, hasn't really you know been able to keep the, the sense of the constable. So uh, Lewis is gonna get gatekeeper stench on it. Lewis is gonna get like walk uncomfortably close to the gatekeeper uh, and look right into his face and go, "Are you the constable?" No. Are you I don't know about sure? that. Hmm. So, so we've established that he's not the constable. Oh, we, yeah. we would have known if he was a constable. Hell. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he'd be the one who... Come on, it's a half work. It makes it really <laughs> difficult for him. He'd be the one who'd know. Yeah, there's no one else with a better authority on his own identity than himself. So, yeah, that stands to reason. <laughs> All right, so, Jake, yeah. what's going on? Did you want to look at the, uh, the last room? Yeah. Yes. All right, so this is another unlocked room. This one um, uh, appears that the oldest Willow son lived in this room. Hunting and farming farming implements lie haphazardly about. Hardened mud cakes the floors. And, a, and again, there are three beds, a large curved desk, a chest of drawers, a chair, a desk, a mirror, and a chamber. Is... Everything pretty much in the same state. There doesn't seem to be anything. Correct. There appears to be absolutely nothing of value. Here. Well, I turn to the others. Well, at least we're not leaving a closed door behind us. Um. So, and which door was it? That, sorry, when the keeper said that we examined one of those rooms, uh, it was the it was the first one on the left, the first room that we went into, right? What are you asking? Um, the 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 uh, the first door that we went into. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, sorry, I'll start again. I asked the keeper which was the first door that the, the constable and his men were look, looking into. Does it oh, look he, like the... He, 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 he said, said that they went... He said that they went beyond these rooms. Through the, okay. the, the, the hallway that you guys have not gone through. And he went off to the left. 
Yeah, we're okay. the only ones foolish enough to trespass. Um, is there anyone who's skilled enough in nature to maybe sort of have a look at the, the, the mud in the muddy footprint room to see if they uh, if it matches the mud outside or if there's something else that's happening? No. Although if it's human, I could probably do something with it. Ranger had the best chance at this stuff, not me. I don't, I don't think yeah. I don't think mud is human. <laughs> I, well, uh, to be to be to be uh, uh, clear, if it was left by human tracks, it, one of my favorite enemies is human. It's a boot. Who knows who's wearing it? Yeah, it's uh, fair. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. So do you it's another spider with human boots. Eight of them. <laughs> do you wish to do anything else with these bedrooms, or do you wish to continue on? Let us go down the hall. Can, can yeah, I make a down performance down check? Can I make a performance check to attempt like I know what I'm doing and pretend to track? <laughs> you can always do that. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> Tr oh, Trigon is... Six. What was that, Mike? So, uh, 11 plus 6, so 17 to pretend. Okay, so it, uh, the, the, the kobold takes point and gives a startling performance about how how skilled at tracking he is and do, do you wish to do you wish to do it or do you want to just go with the die roll i'll go for it yeah yeah go for it what am i doing well since you're making this up make up whatever you want <laughs> oh i just start walking into the wall following the tracks into like the wherever, wall. Where, where, wherever they're pointing at, I walk straight, and I will continue to walk into the wall like I'm <laughs> doing the best job ever. <laughs> so uh, you, you you walk into the next room, and you walk you know, straight. Uh, everything in this in this area is covered with a fine patina. The floor crackles and pops like rice paper at the slightest pressure. It is obvious no one has lived here for years, despite the beautiful furniture. Uh, carved from a fruit tree, fruit tree wood by a skilled craftsman, quite valuable. Uh, there, are, there are some footprints that mark the floor. Uh, you know, he, he chimes up at, you know, at the obvious footprints and says, you know, clearly this is where uh, you know, the, the constable has, has come this way. And he shows it going off to the left. Uh, and and he, he says... That that's the direction we should go. So sorry, was there a, was there? A, did you say that we've gone down the hallway and there was a fork in the path? Uh, we're we're at uh, what appears to be a master bedroom. Uh, there's an alcove to either side with uh, with, with a large bed in I, either way, but mm -hmm. in front of those beds, leading off to the right, there's a doorway. And reading off to the left, there, there was not, not a doorway, but a hallway. Uh, and off to the left, there is another hallway. The footsteps lead off to the left, and that is that is where uh, you know, the keeper is is directing. So, so the keeper's directing us to the left. Let's let's follow this obvious trap, you guys. Okay, it's going to the left. It, it stands to the yeah. Get a crawl and on your to hands. To be clear, and I'm yeah. I'm not looking up at all. I'm looking straight down at the tracks and following them. All right. Was right, so so, anyone not following the tracks? Uh, no, I'm I'm following them. Me and the dog are gonna kind of be try to be as stealthy as we can. I guess the only thing we could really do is move silently rather than actually hide because there's nowhere to hide. All right, as you as you enter into, um, you know, a, a, a small uh, a, a small room, uh, it, it you get a let's see who who's got the so uh, Jake, Mike, and and the and the bear. You know, kind of, kind of, you know, peak, uh, perk up at what sounds like wind coming from, or feels like wind. You don't, you don't hear it, 
uh, coming from a wall uh, in, in front of you. It is, you know, there's, there's clearly, you know, something back there that shouldn't be. As you go to investigate, you, 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 you wind up seeing a, a, a passageway that looks carefully hidden into a uh, more rough, more rough work stone, as opposed to you know the, the, the hard work stone that you guys have been in. What'd you find? There's a good boy, and I'm gonna go to reach to give him a treat and find my bag is empty. <laughs> what? Have you been sneaking treats again, bad dog? Go lay down. I'll I'll flip him the piece of meat that you threw at me earlier when I checked the chamber pot. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, sorry about that. No worries. I think we should. I think we should. Take a closer look and head down this uh, obvious, uh, ob now obvious secret passage or well hidden passage. Sorry, we out to the others that didn't see it. I, I, I was in the last I heard we were in the master bedroom. Uh, you you went off to the left and have have stumbled <clears throat> upon a secret passageway of cool. uh, you know rough work stone as opposed to. Hard work stone of the, the nice room that you've been in previously. So as you begin to uh, to, to 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 walk down, uh, it, it it apparently goes on for quite a ways. Uh, you wind up finding a a room filled with various kinds of small insects, and you can only gather that this could be. You know, possibly used as a a feeding ground for the the large spider that you encountered previously. But the uh, the passageway does continue until it actually opens up into a uh, a large large room. You find yourself standing in what is clearly a mine in the staging area containing mining picks, tools, scraps of wood rocks and several hundred feet of decaying rope mine, 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 mine. I'm, I'm going to look with confusion at the cleric and say do you often have mines in your crypts? is this normal behavior? This is not normal. Um, is the keeper still with us? Uh, you, you look back, and he does not seem to be there. So somewhere over the last uh, 500 feet of passageway, he does not seem to have followed. Did he follow us into the passageway? Uh, he did. Hmm. I'll find him. I'm a good tracker. I take that at face value. Yes, go. <laughs> of course you are. You've led us this far. Does everything about this one... Say again? Go ahead. Um, go I was ahead, just saying, does everything about this mine look like it's... You mentioned the decaying rope and everything. Does it look like it's everything's covered in a layer of dust, or does it look like it's seen some activity recently? Uh, the stuff that is in this room does not appear that it's seen any any kind of activity recently. Hmm. So I'm I'm going to do something probably finally useful along my ranger capabilities. Uh, I'm going to spend my time just searching around the room looking for anything that looks like it's been disturbed. Um. Let's see. So there is um, a you know a further passageway down that clearly someone has traversed through. Oh, it looks like people have gone this way. So uh, Maybe grab a pickaxe. Let's it, go. 
if not people, at least person. I was just mm -hmm. gonna say that. You're a good tracker too. <laughs> well, thank you. Are you are you breaking the fourth wall there, uh, Cobalt? <laughs> Uh, so we have to, so we have to climb down a thing and and carry along. We, we, where where do they go? Uh, there's like a uh, sloping passageway, ramp, whatever you want right. whatever you want to call it. It's not stairs, but it okay. goes down. Uh, at this point, I'm gonna insist on taking point, uh, torch and shield up, and we'll 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 go that way, I guess. All right, so you find yourself in a much, uh, much larger room. Numerous pails and small carts filled with rock and crystal can be found here. Uh, you know, clearly, it has been rummaged through for anything of value you know, long ago. Uh, the spring water has dwindled to a trickle and is no longer sufficient to clear the slime that is uh, seeping in from areas to the left and to the right. Stone stairs are lined with wood, but are still very slippery due to the slime. Mm -hmm. Watch the stairs. They're slimy. So you can go to the left. Of course I'm right. going to watch the stairs. Oh! No, no, no. <laughs> you can go to the left or to the right, but there's like large puddles of, of this slime that appears to be seeping around, or there is a set of stairs directly in front of you. Well, uh, which direction looks like... Lead. Which direction look like, looks like it's been traveled? Uh, do you wish to make a survival check? I would love to. Um, well, he's doing that. I want... Go ahead. So do you get do I get advantage? advantage? Yes. Okay. Uh, that would be... Oh, damn just a second. Uh, Fourteen. Yeah, you you uh you can see that they go down down towards the uh, the stairs, or down the stairs. Well, tracks go down the stairs. So that's the way I'm going. I want to. Oh, I have, I have to be in agreement there. Each pile of slime, I'm gonna poke with mage hand to make sure it doesn't get eaten. Uh, the yep. slime does not eat your mage hand. Okay. Am I effectively taking point now? Am I at the head of the group? You can do it. I need to have you close by because you're a good tracker too. I will ride on your head. Sounds good. You're not going to ride right, so dog? Yeah. No, I hide under him, not right on top. <laughs> Just hanging out of there, hanging out of the fur. What uh, what size is dog? Uh, I guess he's medium. I'm Wait, small. Uh, bears are large. Uh, well, you, can't, you, can't, uh, you can't have a bear because it's the wrong. It's it's too high of a CR. So he's using a wolf. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So uh, he's he's essentially an adolescent bear. Is there a problem, Jake? Is your mic not working? No, I'm no. good. I just came back from. I had to slip away for a minute. Oh, uh, okay. I didn't. I didn't see you stepped away. I just saw the comment. Am I dead? And I'm like, what? Yeah. Oh, well, while, nah. while I said, you were gone, you, I said, don't kill me. I while you were gone, you slipped down the stairs. Broke yeah, neck. No worries. No worries. There was a. Uh, there was no flights. Uh, as you get I down to. Know. As you do get uh, to the bottom of the stairs, uh, is it uh, uh, Asa? Are you are you taking point on the on the walk on the stairs? Uh, yeah, and uh, I'll have I'll have my doggy head up the rear. Okay. Uh, so as you get to the. Uh, As you get to the bottom of the stairs, uh, you are you know, somewhat surprised as two spiders are basically lying in wait for for, for you guys. Maybe the, the ruckus that you guys have been causing 
up, up above the conversations that you've had, uh, but but they are there and they are clearly waiting for you guys. So if you'd like to uh, roll initiative, we can uh, see what winds up transpiring. It's because we were arguing about different tracking techniques. Mm, I can imagine. Should have been arguing about stealth techniques. <laughs> we even had pass without a trace. Oh, that's right. I did. I did roll a stealth check and put it in the in the chat, but then we were arguing about stuff, so it really didn't matter anymore. Oh wait, wait. Do we still have pass without a trace? Yes. Ah. Uh, then please allow me to revise. Oh wait, we're rolling for initiative, not stealth. It's actually twelve, not twenty-two. Off, right. of, off of Pete's sake. Yeah. No. What am I doing? Yeah. Okay. So it was actually the first number. It's nine. I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I did it too, Scott. <laughs> All right, so <sighs> good times. So I'm trying to see what's the what's the actual legit numbers here. Uh, Kevin, do you honestly have a 23? Yeah, I rolled a 19 plus four. Okay, all right, you're you're up. Fragonator, are you 12 or 22? Definitely 12. Okay, all right. So, uh, Kevin, you're up. There are two large spiders, so you know, li lying at the uh, lying in wait at the bottom of the stairs. Okay, uh, I had an idea here. Where was I going to go with it? Um, oh, I know. Ah, perfect. Would you say less than thirty feet away? Uh, how far back in the uh, in the marching order are you? Uh, I would say I'm probably towards the middle. Ah, uh, so yeah, why not? Okay. Oh, hell. Watch out for their bite. Okay. I'm going to cast Bane. Okay, I'm unfamiliar with that one. What does that do? Okay, Bane. Uh, up to three creatures. So there's two of them, right? Mm -hmm. uh, within range, must make a charisma saving throw. Um, if you fail, the, if they fail the save, uh, whatever attack rolls you roll, you roll one d four and subtract that number. Okay, uh, is it one or both? Four saving throws. Sure. Is it one or both? Both. It's the next okay. of either of the two. Oh, you mean what target? Sorry. All right. Yeah, so, there's only uh, two, so I'm casting on the two. All right. Uh, so I'm guessing your DC is not, you know, below an eight. Yeah, <laughs> so it's thirteen. <laughs> they uh, they have failed. All right. Uh, so after Kevin is Asa. Okay. Um, I will go ahead and shoot one of them. How close am I to them, and how close is my bear? Dog. Um, <laughs> well, uh, your your. "Quote unquote dog," you said was leading the. Uh, the he's leading, at the end of the group. Up the rear, so he's probably you know thirty feet away from you, and you're probably you know ten feet, twenty feet from them. Okay, so he's about he's got to move at a forty, so he can make it to them if he can make it past everyone else. Mm -hmm. Okay, my arrow shot is a fifteen. I believe that misses. Uh, fifteen is going to hit. Oh, okay, cool. Um, these, these do not appear to be the same brand of spider you had seen earlier. Thank goodness. Okay. So my first shot is six damage, and then uh, my bear will advance. Oh. Uh, left or How right? How do I want to do this? Uh, me and my bear are both going to advance on the one that I just shot. And then so as a minor right? action, I'm going to uh, left. And then I will stow my bow. Okay. That's my minor. All right. Uh, and this is again like we're going to be right up, right up next to it in melee range. Yep, yep. All right, Mike, you're up. Uh, can I do a 15 foot cone that only hits the two spiders? Yeah. Okay. I would like to cast color spray then, affecting 38 hit points worth of them. Uh, what does that? It blinds them for one round, so everyone will have advantage to hit them. 
okay, so if they have more than 38 hit points, they're fine. If they have under 38 hit points, it affects them. Is that what I'm uh, it, affect, it affects them in order from lowest hit points to highest. Like and so it takes away from the pool. Okay. So if the first one has 15, it'll be, yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so it, it goes not off of their max, but off of their of what they have or have so actual right. Points, yeah all right so they're they are they are blinded sweet both of them both of them nice. and then i'm going to use my uh bonus action to disengage in case i'm near them and you are you are not away. close enough to you're not close enough to okay them. well then i will use it to hide on top of the ranger's head you're hiding on top of the ranger's head as far as I know, I'm still there. So. Oh, I thought you were underneath the uh, under, underneath the bear. Yeah, I, I didn't think you actually had climbed on oh, another yeah. character. Well, uh, if he's not, there, he uses his move to get there now. Doesn't Scott, matter. I have up. a seven to hide. <laughs> <laughs> Work stroke ever. Like. Okay, so that is a that is a four on the die. So that is, hits armor class ten. Uh, pardon me, uh, ten is going to miss. Sweet, awesome. That's that's great. <laughs> well, at least you have a high armor class. Uh, Jake, what you're up. Happen? All right, <clears throat> I am. As soon as I see the spiders, how far away are they from me? I, I imagine I was, I've probably been in order behind the fighter. All right, so you're like 20, 30 feet away. All right, so I'm going to look at the one that wasn't hit. Okay. And I have advantage, right, because they're blind? Indeed. Indeed. So I'm, I start walking and then my, pick up my pace and begin running. And I, as I draw my two maces from the rings on my belt and pull them into my hands, I leap into the air, and I'm bringing both maces down on this one spider. And you're going after the screw spiders. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. So the first hit is a 16 on the die, which is a 19 to hit. That hits. And the second hit is an 8. Is it 16 or 15? 18 to hit. They both hit. So with both of my maces, I do... Good God. Uh, I do With each mace, I do three points of damage, so a total of six points of bludgeoning as I just bring them down on the, on the abdomen of this spider okay. as I land right next to it. All right. So... Uh... That brings it to me. All right. Well, the uh, they're gonna go after the ones that actually damage them. So uh, we're gonna go after uh, Asa first. Oh, hang on. If they were blind, did I get advantage to attack them? Yes. Ah, uh, bollocks. Oh well. So, a 12 is going to miss the ranger. And if you guys didn't already have advantage, uh, you'd have advantage on, uh, on that because that was a horrible roll. So, we are back up. We got a 1d4 minus. Well, I already missed, so I don't need to roll oh, any further. Don't even have to worry about it. <laughs> They're All blinded right. and veined, and they missed. And, yeah. So, <sighs> you're up, Kevin. All right. Are the two spiders within... If I was to get up close, would I be within five feet of both of them? Uh, if you stood between them, you could be within five feet of both. All right. I'm going to get myself in that spot. And I'm going to thunderclap. Okay. Uh, thunder uh, constitution saving throws for both. Uh, what's your DC? Is it 13? Let me look. Yeah, it's 13. 13. Okay. 
So one one pass, one fail. One pass, one fail, and you did the one d four minus on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, d six damage H. I know. Uh, one point of damage. Oh, uh, cool. Total two. <laughs> So a, a, oh, a tiny, a tiny little up. rumble of thunder. Hey, sir, you're up, sir. Alas, All right. Uh, Kevin, you want to give inspiration to somebody? I know. I keep forgetting about that part. <laughs> do you wish to do so? Um. Well, we have advantage against him anyway right now, so I, I don't see the point in it. Unless you can add it to damage rolls. Yeah, that, we can add it to the damage. That's true. Give it to me. All right, I'll toss the, I'll toss a bard, I'll, I'll bard, I'll toss the uh, inspiration over to the ranger. Okay. okay. Um, same thing as last time. I'm gonna draw both my short swords and do a hackety slash on this guy. First advantage uh, roll is, uh, maybe I will use the bardic inspiration for this one. Uh. Because right now it is a 12, but if I inspire it, it will be a 17. 17 hits. And then uh, my second roll is for my offhand, which I have the two weapon fighting, so I get the thing. Uh, nat 19, so. Are they both hit? They will both hit. 2d6 plus 6. That's 13 points of damage. You kill it. All right, so... A similar thing. I'm just going to bring these two right up uh, underneath its uh, its you know neck into the uh, into its brain, and then I'm also going to chop off another one of this one's little fangs. Okay. Look at that. Mm -hmm. uh, and then my bear is going to advance on the other one. Okay. I guess I Mike. will too. Mike, you're up. All right. Since there's uh, people next to it, I'm just going to attack. Yeah, this thing is kind of surrounded at this point in time. Never mind. I'm not going to attack. I you have advantage. Do I? You have advantage. Okay, well. Nine plus eight. Now, I don't think a... Is a 14 going to hit? It does. Oh. Perfect. Eight. Uh... With sneak attack, it's eight. Wah, wah. All right, so uh, <laughs> this, this, describe what your dagger does. Uh, barely pokes it with just enough to uh, rupture the sack of its abdomen and all its contents spill out onto the ranger's feet. Uh, all right, so... The, uh, hey, you got to take a trophy. You just killed it. I'll start gnawing on its foot leg. Your its foot leg? Yeah. It's it really with have... all the boots. <laughs> it's wearing eight boots. Uh, I'd just like to thank you all for letting me uh, participate in this combat. It really <laughs> makes me feel like I'm uh, one of the team. <laughs> um... Ah, Dragon, you're doing some good work over there. If it makes you feel any better, kick it while it's down. Mm. I'm normally opposed to those sorts of things, but I suppose it would make me feel better. And then I'd give it a punt. All right, so... Uh, oh, my gosh. So from here, there's a passage off to the right, to the left, where you can continue forward. The slime does, does appear to be getting thicker down here. Um, uh, they're, they're covered in slime as thick as mud, about two to three inches deep, making travel unsafe. Anyone attempting to move faster than half, half speed in this area uh, you know, has the chance of slipping and falling. Uh, I take I'm that gonna... as a challenge. I'm going to reel back on the rest of the group and bellow, you all need to learn to be quieter. There's a reason why I rub ash on your face. What? Oh, quiet down! 
So you uh, yell, quiet down. That's <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it's uh, not like anything within 100 feet didn't hear the thunder clap. Right. Um, and then I am going to continue through the path that uh, that has been used. Okay. Do we need to make another check for that? No, nah, that's fine. So you, you would uh, continue forward? Okay. I'm going to be kind of try to be stealthy, if that helps. So as you continue forward, uh, your nostrils fill with this uh, nause nauseating smell. Sorry. Uh, I, I need you guys all to make constitution saves. Oh, those are my favorite. Yeah, I do still have inspirations. So let's see how this goes. 20, 20, 20, 20. All right. 16. <clears throat> I'm using my inspiration. <laughs> Because a three is not going to cut it. Nat uh, 20. <laughs> what a waste of an hey. hey. so I, I got, suddenly hey, I, feel strong. I got a 22. I feel the <laughs> over rolling. What do you I'm doing better, though. It's a two on the die. And no inspiration. All right. So any, anyone that uh, actually got below a 10 has disadvantage on... Uh, E twenty rolls, make it, make it a um, everything but initiative. We'll call it. Um, and you are going to make that check at the start of all of your rounds. Uh, but the slime tends uh, the the slime begins to bubble and churn as uh, another spider erupts out of it. Uh, uh, Asa, are you still at point? Yep. So it comes in at you. It looks like it's going to hit here. Uh, Which I'll respond with. Ah, spider! There's uh, six points of mighty damage, and I need a second uh, con save from you for the round. Uh, second con save is a 19. So, and I am half less than half on hit points. All wink, right, so, wink, cleric. Right, so <laughs> Not at all subtle there. All right, so you uh, you avoid the effects of its uh, slimy bite and initiative, people. I don't know what you're talking about, Jake. Subtly has been my game tonight. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Crocky guy. I don't know, but Kevin seems to nail the initiative pretty hard. I actually rolled decent this time. But nothing else. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love that. First in line to suck. <laughs> So, uh, Asa, what's your dex? Uh, three. Well, it's plus three. It's a plus 16. Three. Okay. All right. So all of you guys are going first. My so dex is have, not three. We have Kevin, Mike, Jake, no, Scott and Jake. And okay. Scott, uh, yeah. All right. So Kevin, you're up, sir. All right, I will. Yeah, I think about this one. I think I'm gonna thunderclap it. Okay. Uh, you have to be careful about where you are, otherwise you're gonna be thunderclapping our uh, ranger as well. It's only a can five foot radius on? around him. Can can we can uh, we can move around it? it? Hmm. Can we all move around it? Uh, yeah, there's enough space here. Cool. Okay. Well, it's going to be four points of damage unless he saves. <laughs> uh, and it is uh, what kind of save? Uh, charisma. Thunderclap is charisma? I don't... Let me look again. Constitution, I think. Yeah, you're right. Constitution. Okay. Yeah, DC 13. 
All right, so it, it fails. How much damage? Uh, four. Off I like floor. I like charisma. The spider just looks at you with like the cute little puppy dog eyes, and you're like, nah, I'm not gonna thunderclap that. <laughs> Mike, you're up. All right, I would like to get within ten feet of it, and okay. then fall on the ground and go, oh no, please don't kill us. We will do anything. Ah, oh, nice. And then when it looks, oh, why did I do it, that? When it looks at me really confused, like I'm gonna run away, but. That's my uh, grovel, That's power, and beg action. Uh, so I cower pathetically, and allies have advantage on the enemies. <laughs> uh, okay, then. Yep. Well played. Yep. Good one. Scott, you're up, sir. I'm going to move around. I'm going to swing a sword, and I'm going to hit it, um, assuming a 24 hits. No, no, twenty four missed. No, yeah, it, it hits solidly. You, you doubled its armor class. All right, uh, and that is a uh, that is a an eleven on damage. Eleven damage. Right. Yeah, with the old longsword. Jake, you're up. Mm -hmm. Um, so this thing's taking a couple of hits. Ah, uh, two. It's taken, it's taken shoot, 15 points of damage already. Very much not liking these uh, spiders. So um, I'm going to double mace this bastard. Uh, whoa, that's two 19s. So that's uh, 22 to hit for both hits. Again, doubling their armor class. Um, so that's going to be... Uh, six and four, so a total of ten with the two maces. Okay. Wow. Some uh, considerable damage there. Uh, Asa. All right. Um, I didn't pull, didn't specify a weapon change, so I assume I still have my swords out. That's fine. <clears throat> okay. Uh, that's wonderfully not good. Uh, so it, I have advantage with my attack rolls, right? Indeed. Okay, my first roll problem. is an el Yeah, my first roll is an eleven. That hits. And my second roll is a higher than that. I think Scott's S falling asleep. <sighs> Wake up, Scott. No, I'm here. <laughs> uh, total <laughs> of twelve I'm, I'm... damage. All right. Well, uh, you know, uh, you you, uh, you you keep stealing all the thunder. Please describe <laughs> what happens. Uh, I'm gonna hold my swords up and look right into its its spider eyes and go, "You do not make good dog." And pfft, right in the eyes. And then uh, I'm now gonna chop off another mandible. What's that? Bear makes a good dog. Bear makes a great dog. Um, quick question: Is it the same mandible every time? Like, do you have a? Like you... Always the left. It's always <laughs> the left one. Okay. <laughs> I think it actually makes it worse that you're targeting the same one. Like, you know, if you're just going for a random mandible, I would have gone, yeah, that's cool. But, yeah, this is this is getting a little bit creepily specific. <laughs> well, you got to have a trophy. Everyone's got a hobby. It's, All right, so it's you like guys, when uh... you kill a human, you always chop off the left pinky. Yeah, I mean, what? Uh, <laughs> do, you, do you guys continue forward? Uh, yeah, I yes. do. Uh, I'm uh, just, I'm just gonna like turn to Acer and just like, are you, are you okay there, old boy? Oh, I'm having the time of my life. How are you feeling? Oh, um, I got a couple of bites. I'm bleeding a little bit. How, how does everybody look? I'm a little pale. Um, I'm gonna. As we're continuing on, I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on the Ranger if he's the only one that needs healing. Yeah, I'm like, I'm very not much to worry about. Like, <laughs> I've got to say, uh, I, I'm a terrible player. No matter what I play, I usually put go into the tank roll. <laughs> uh, so as I mutter um, some words and just kind of run my hands across your wounds... Uh, you can have uh, 
you can have 11 hit points back. No, it's not an All excuse right. to run your hands across the half-orc's body. <laughs> uh, it's not done in a caressing manner. Hey. It's a cup of cup cough. <laughs> Do you guys continue your travels? Yes. Yeah. All right. An archway, you know, uh, an archway stands before you, leading into a square room, fifty by fifty, with dozens of exits on the floor, ceiling, and walls. But where uh, where do they go? I have a a massive spider this. can be found lurking in the back of the room. This abomination has a captive weakened before it. Whoever, whoever it is, it is apparently in need of aid or healing or could clearly die. What do you do? You shouldn't have wasted the healing on me, Cleric. I've got I more. Now, this 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 figure is kneeling in front of this giant spider, like right in front of it. Yes, it's it's not kneeling; it's lying there, incapacitated. And is does the spider not appear to see us? Uh, I it, it's aware of your presence. Yeah. And you said this room's fifty by fifty, so given that we just came in, it's probably fifty feet away. Uh, it's, if you're at the archway, I would say it's probably a little past the midway point. So, 25, 30 feet away. And we're in relation to to, uh, to us is the person. Uh, it's literally right in front of the spider, so five feet off of that. Um, I'm going to turn to my party. Well, how, how about this? How about we roll initiative and see... Uh, See the order in which we act. Fair enough. I already got something in mind, so... Six. And I roll a one. All right. Second natural 20 of the game. Never on combat rolls. We're wasting them on initiative. <laughs> right. All right, we got one. That's one where more. all the good rolls are going. What am I waiting on? Scott, you rolled a 10? I did. I got so excited with my six, I forgot what we were rolling it for. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Asa, you get to act first. Muted. Sorry, I was muted. Did you say it was 50 feet away? Uh, you're about you know 30 feet away. Okay, uh, then I'm going to uh, minor action to Hunter's Market, and okay. I'll kind of um, give a little of a bit of a growl toward uh, toward my bear. And then the two of us are going to again do you go for pincer formation, one on either side of it. Okay, uh, are to you sort of flank to, it. Are you going to move full speed? Yes. Okay, make a next save. This one? Okay. Yes. Uh, sixteen. Okay, you oh, are sorry, fine. Eighteen. Your mount and bear. Um, so what does he do? What does he use for his saves? Uh, his decks. And unless he's oh, I gotta look him up proficient, there. Um, then he if he's proficient in it, then he gets your bonus as well. But Give me two seconds. I did not actually keep up his uh, stats nearby. Well, had you back to the, the Kickstarter <sighs> for the, uh, you know, the, the wild, wild, uh, beast compact, uh, Companion, you could have a card with the companion's information on it. So disappointed in me. He got a twelve. All right, so he has actually slipped and fallen prone. So he okay. will not be able to um, join you. I will not notice as I uh, move in and go ahead and strike this spider in the back with both of my attacks. Okay. Um. So first one is a twenty-one, and second is a thirteen. Uh, the 13 is going to miss. The 21 will hit. For nine points of damage, is that his company stab him in the back? Rawr! Minus nine. <laughs> okay. So then on. I'll look behind me and realize I left everyone behind and go, oh, this could be bad. 
So I have a question before my action, but I'll wait till I get to it. You are up, Kevin. Okay. So if I class Cloud of Daggers, I know what that does. Um, 44 damage, and at the start of the next turn, if he's still in that spot, he takes it again. Now, if I do a bonus action as a spell, do I lose that? Uh, it's a is it a con it's a concentration spell. The only the only way you lose that is if you take damage and fail your concentration check, or you cast another spell that does concentration. Or you read a spell. It reminds me, I forgot my hunter's mark damage. Uh, do you wish to roll it? Okay. So yeah. since that's a, so since that's a conjuration, um, since it's a concentration spell, the other spell I was going to do is an evocation spell. So you're saying. Yes, it would stay on the well, target. Yes, but you wouldn't be able okay. to cast both in the same round. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna cast uh, Cloud of Daggers on the thing. Okay. That's 44 damage. Um, and the damage for the Hunter's Mark is another four damage. 13 points of damage. About time I got a good roll. Okay, and my bonus action is going to be Healing Word. Uh, you can't cast Cloud of Dagger and Healing Word. They're both they're both spells. Oh. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess that. Uh, okay, so as a bonus action, I cannot cast that spell. Uh, only because Cloud of Dagger is, is not a cantrip. You can't you can't cast two spells in the same round. Yeah, I didn't think of that. Sorry. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna get in front of him in my in my turn, so you know, there'll be some defense oh, happening. Okay. Well, oh that's an action. I can't do any of those things. So okay, shoot. That would change but that would change a few things. Um all right, well, that was my action. I cannot do any. Wait, yes, I can. I can do Bardic Inspiration. Of course, that's the last one I think I can use, right? Yes. Who do you wish to inspire? Um. Uh, who's coming up next? <laughs> that would be me. I'll inspire you. Hooray! So it's my turn? Uh, not yet. Oh. Uh, so the, the creature lashes out at the half-orc for nine points of damage. And then you can go. Okay. I oh. will... I'm going to go full movement towards the thing, so it's a deck save, isn't it? Yep. And I'm going to be spending my inspiration, because I don't like the idea of a natural one on this. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of ones being rolled tonight, guys. Uh, and that one wasn't a one, but it was a four. All right, so uh, partway through your movement, you fall prone. And it's half your movement to get up, so you are not going to be getting to him. So, how far do I? How close to him am I at this stage? Uh, you're fifteen feet away. Fifteen feet away. So, and I spent half my move, which would be so I can get within seven and a half feet of him. Uh, and then I'm... No, I can't do it. Well, if you else. travel 15 feet, and then you stand up for 15 feet, you got to move it. Okay. Um, yeah. Unless you wanted to, you know, as your action, do another move. Uh, okay, right, right, right. I see what you're saying. Gotcha. Uh, then that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'll, I'll move another 15 feet. I'll get in front of him, uh, in front of the guy, and then I will heroic surge, and I will attack. Action surge. Action surge. And that is a 19 on the die, which, as I'm a fighter and I've taken improved critical. You're a champion? Is, 
Uh, oh yes, I am a champion. And that is 11 points of damage. 11 points of damage on a critical, that's it? So okay, yeah, that's I had 5 on sneak attack. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you're up, sir. Alright, I don't really want to get close to it this time, so I'm going to move within 30 feet uh, so that I can get my sneak attack, hopefully with a bow, uh, take cunning action to try to hide, if that's possible. Yeah. Uh, since I'm 13 to hide, so probably not. Uh, let's see here. What was that? Let's see. Uh, sorry, he saw you. Okay. Well, 17 to hit, and since someone's next to him, do I still get sneak attack? You do. Okay. 17 on that one. 17 damage? Yep. Actually, rolled decent for once. Jake. So, <clears throat> as long as I move half speed, I'm not going to have to make the dex check, correct? Correct, sir. So I'm going to move my 15 feet half speed as quickly as possible. <laughs> enough that I can make a jump to cover the last 12 feet to land in front of this thing. Because my strength is 12. So as long as I move 10 feet, I can jump up to my strength distance. So that would get me 22 okay. feet. Okay. At as I'm leaping through the air, I'm calling on the goddess of trickery and illusion, Lia, Lilarla, Liara. He didn't say it right. It's going to backfire. Well, let's hope I say it right. Uh, All right uh, and so I'm actually I'm invoking... Part of this. <laughs> so, if you are jumping as part of your movement, then you're not moving half your speed. If you're, if you're trying to move, cover 30 feet, and cast a spell... I only have to move 10 feet to make the jump. All right. Uh, I'll, I'll make ahead. the dex check. I'll make no, the dex check. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, okay, so so what, are you, what are you casting? What I'm doing, I'm not casting. I'm actually uh, channeling divinity. Uh, okay. And I'm invoking duplicity so that as I land, I split into two versions of myself. Ooh. As soon as I land... <laughs> Within, like, right next to me is another version of myself. Okay. Uh, that takes my action to do that. Okay. So, as of this moment, I'm just kind of in a hero pose. Um, hero pose, but there's two of you. But there's two of me. And I'm, and I'm just like, oh, that's excellent. The next time he falls down, he can heal himself. <laughs> uh, Asa, you're up, sir. Unless there was something else, Jake. That's all I can do. All right. What do you got, Ace? Okay. Uh, I've got... Well, first my bear is going to get up for 15 feet of movement and <laughs> carefully walk its other 15 feet up towards the beast, uh, towards the spider. And I'll go ahead and uh, do some stab stabs to get... Uh, actually, no, my bear's going to attack him. Uh, and he has advantage because I'm within five feet of him. So my bear's got a 21 to hit. And that is uh, eight points of damage, and he has to make a strength 11 DC or fall prone. He is fine. What's the damage? Damn. Uh, eight. Okay. Relying on that measly strength check of 11. <laughs> Uh, Kevin, you're up. Okay. Um, well, shoot, I'm out of second level spell slots now. What's a second level spell slot look like? <laughs> okay, here's what I... Wait, no, I can still do that, but... All right. Okay, so you're saying I can cantrip and cast a spell? If that's a if, bonus? If, yes. All right. 
And how far away am I from it? Up to 30 feet away. Did you okay, move last I'm gonna round? I'm going to say 30 feet. Oh, no, no. You, you, you came up and thunderclapped him last round? Or was that the, la the other creature? That was no, the other you, cl you clouded daggers him. Yeah. Oh, that well, that's right. Start of the turn. Uh, does he have to roll for da roll it's damage? Not, again? It's not start of his turn yet. Ah, okay. I didn't know that. Okay. Um, he had one. He had he had a turn after because the spider oh, came that's... after him. Yeah, I'll. I'll, I'll, I'll... Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I'll, I'll roll it. What are, what are you, what spells are you casting? What are you doing? Okay, well the spell I'm going to cast on this one, um, but is that going to cancel out the cloud daggers if I can't uh, cast another spell? Wait, you said it doesn't as long as they're not the same type. As long so. as long as it's not concentration. That's okay. Nothing, that has nothing to do with the school. It has to do with whether the spell is concentration. All right. Ah, uh, damn it! True strike is exactly a concentration. I can't do that. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm 30 feet away, and I can only go half distance. I can only get 15 feet closer. Oh. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cast Healing Word as my action on uh, the guy laying right right by him. Okay. It's a bonus action to do Healing Word. Okay, I'm going to walk 15 feet, then I'm going to cast it. <laughs> okay. All right, so he took 11 points of damage from your things last round. He will shift a little bit to not stay in the daggers. Further or, or closer away from me or further away from me? Your, your uh, he'll, he'll take a step back from the uh, the constable. Uh, uh, so will... that's... Oh, Is so that the it's uh, three points of three points of healing plus my spellcasting ability modifier. So is that okay, five or three? So he he opens his mouth, and a swarm of flying spiders comes out. So who wasn't in melee with this guy? Who me? Me too. How 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 far away were you, Mike? 30 feet. And you, you came to 15 feet away? I did. Okay. So everyone but Mike, please make a constitution saving throw. Okay. I've got an 11 for me. 18. And much higher for my bear. 11 plus what constitution? 12. Why, oh why, was Constitution my dump stat tonight? <laughs> my I bear is a 17. I got a 3. Okay. Um, so anyone who got below a 15 takes uh, 28 points of damage. Poof! My illusory yeah, self like disappears as oh, I yeah. fall to the ground. Yeah, same here. Um, well, I don't have a loser. Wait, you said 28? 28, <laughs> Okay, that's on. I'm just down. I thought you killed me. <laughs> I don't think I was doing enough damage. To outright no, 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 no. It would have had to been like 42 points to take me out completely. Yeah, that 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 swarm of insects knocks me down to negative 12. My bear's fine though. Negative one. Hey, uh, Ranger, shut your dog up. Hey. <laughs> All right, uh, <laughs> Scott, you're up. Uh, quick question: These these flying spiders are they flying above us? Uh, they they Stable, came out. They, they they bit and who was that, babe? You know, disappeared. They oh, they disappeared. Play. Yeah. Oh, what? Okay. Um, I'm going to keep an eye on the spider and see if it does that again, and I'm going to swing my sword. Was there half damage on a save? Uh, yes. Uh, so okay. 14, 14 of you passed. My oh, apologies. Like now everyone gets mad at me. Did, did you use your inspiration yet, Scott? 
Uh, I did. I, I, I did some excellent role playing though, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm hurt and offended that you didn't want to give me any recognition for that, Ted. Oh, but... I, 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 I'll, I'll let you re-roll. How about that? <sighs> I need to say it. I'm going to use my inspiration also. <laughs> it's my only chance. And that time it was a 19. All right. Uh, so Ooh, that's 12 damage. The inspiration. Okay. All right. How, how much, Scott? 12. 12? I'm uh, down to 13. Light, light. Uh, all right. I am going to cast a spell on the spider. And unless it has a intelligence of four or lower, I need a wisdom saving throw from you. Okay, and he gets a wisdom saving throw. Um, oh, sorry. Can can I also just um add on my turn? I'm I'm kind of kind of look over my shoulder, and this guy's clearly the constable, right? Yes. And what sort of state is he in? Dead. Uh, he he just took some damage, so he is back to bleeding to death. Oh, okay. for Pete's sake. I think I healed him for eight points, but you're saying he took damage. <laughs> he, he was in the area effect of the insect plague. Uh. Uh, so he has a 14 on his save, Mike? Uh, he saves. And what I said apparently was not funny. <laughs> and then I will take my bonus action to attempt to hide. Okay. With another nine. Jake. Uh, so I guess that's a death saving throw for me. Indeed. And that's a five. So that's okay, one that's, that's fail. One. Art. Asa, are you down as well? Yes, I am. Let's get that death save. Oh, that's a six. All right. And, uh, unless you wanted to take control of my bear, I was just going to have it grab my character by the leg and just kind of drag him away from the spider. Uh, if you want to do that, he can do that, or he could attack. It's just your call. Um, it's, it's, I'm gonna go with uh, with his instinct would be to try to save my character's life by getting him out of danger. So I'm gonna go okay. with that. He's gonna grab him, and we're both gonna move 15 feet away from the spider. All right, that's cool with me. All right, Kevin. Yes. Okay. You're up. Uh, I am going to. Oh, we. No, I can't do that either. Jeez. Oh. Is there more? I wouldn't mind more. I just said hard to eat. But I'm, just, I'm so hungry. All right. Uh, all right. So the cloud of daggers, he's no longer in it, is he? No. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm going to do a. Uh, oh, shoot. I don't want to lose that cloud of daggers, but I might have to. Oh. Oh, Can I cast heroism on myself? <laughs> uh, not familiar with that spell off the top of my head. A willing what creature is it? you touch is imbued with bravery until the spell ends. The creature is immune to being frightened, gains temporary hit points. Equal yeah, you can do that. Out of fire. Yeah, there's nothing okay. that says you can't do that. I'm going to cast it on myself. Okay. And then I'm going to hit the damn thing. <laughs> well, that's uh, an action to cast, so you'll have to wait till next round to hit it. You're right. i I got to wait. Yeah, you're good at this. Okay. Uh, so, Scott, Scott, are you still in this thing's face? Oh, yes. And you are a 19 armor class. So it swings at you a couple of times, only connecting once for seven points of damage. All right. Uh, and then you are up, sir. Okay. Uh, so uh, we've got a beard dragging away the the ranger. Uh, Eric's down. The, the kobold is hiding. Bard is the bard is heavily damaged. Did you say that? Did you I say did. the cleric's down or, or? Cleric's down. Oh shoot! This is not going well. It does. I don't know. Oh Bruce god! Cleric. Ever. Uh, 
<laughs> I'm. I'm just gonna. I, I'm just going to take a dodge action, and I'm just gonna say. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to say to the kobold, I think we need to reconsider things. Can you get, uh, can you get that, uh, uh, um, can you get a cleric out of here, please? And I look down just... at my spin. Go ahead. And I'm basically just uh, I'm, I'm I'm basically going to try and sort of make sure the spider's paying attention to me and not anyone else. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Mike, you're up. I look down at my spindly little arms. Go. What does he want with the blue? Uh, and then I will angle a sleep spell so that it does not hit him. But everyone else is already down, so I don't care about anyone else. So you're trying to put him to sleep? I, I'm trying to put the spider to sleep. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. How many can well, you, you said him. I thought you meant Scott. <laughs> I'm rolling that right now. <laughs> 8, 16, 27, 31. Uh, just make sure. He does not seem affected. I go run and... Would you, would you like to make an uh, arcana check? Sure. That'll be fun. Fifteen. Alright, so... You think the spell should have taken hold, but apparently this, this creature is immune to that type of effect. Grr. I will still take my bonus action to run away. At double my speed, so I'm assuming I probably have to do a check of some kind, right? Yes. And Dex what check. sort of... Dex? Just... Perfect. Five. <laughs> Alright, so you, uh, you slip and fall prone. How far did I make it? Uh, I, I always go with half. So, 15 feet. Okay, so... Well, 30 if I'm running? Well, you, you used your bonus action to do a move action, yeah. which is 30. Okay. All right, so uh, Jake, number two. Oh, boy. Let's see how well this works out. Scott is getting really perplexed over there. He's deep in thought. Hmm. Uh, that's a 12. That's a 12, well, that, so that's, that, that's, that's a pass. pass. Asa. I got scared and ran. All right, let's see here. I got a 19. All right, so that's a pass. All right, my bear's going to drag me another 15 feet. I don't have any way to help him. Asa. I mean, not Asa. Kevin. Okay. So I'm guessing I'm 15 feet away from this thing. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to hit... Go 15, and then I'm going to stab it with the rapier. God, how okay. stupid is that? I'm 16. 16. I'm just at 8, 17. That hits. And damage is 1d8 plus 3. Roll, 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 roll. 8 points of damage. 8 points. All right, uh, he's going to. Actually, I am completely out of everything. I have no inspiration. I have no spells. I am nothing. Don't, don't feel bad. I'm all out of life. I've got almost all my spells. I can't cast while I'm unconscious. So he he swings twice at the the fighter because he took the dodge action. Gets disadvantage. I miss twice. Nice. Okay, so my turn again. I will. Um, so basically, I'm going to position myself so that I am between uh, the spider. I want to be back to where I was before, basically in front of in front of the the constable. Okay. Uh, and and hopefully, sort of position myself so that the the wall of bl blades is in front of me, so the spider can't come at me without coming at the 
um, the wall of blades. Uh, I'm going to sheath my sword and I'm going to try and sling the the constable over my arm. Okay. And uh, take a dodge action again. Okay. Mike. Mike ran away. We we still have a Mike. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm continuing to run because I don't think this is going well, and I'm trying to preserve my own life. So that is a 10 with my dex check. <laughs> All right, so uh, you wind up falling again as you... Uh, but I've made it 30 feet now, correct? Yep. All right, Jake. So I'm 60 feet away from the spider. <laughs> Jake, check number three. That's another 12, so that's the second right. success. That's, that's two passes. Asa? All right. 18. It's another success. All right, that's two uh, two passes for you as well, Kevin. And bear, I'm sorry. I I imagine Bear is uh, your your dog is carrying you further away after the kobold. Yep, dog is keeping me safe. Okay. Uh, all right, so look at, I guess I'm gonna stab it again. <laughs> all right. I'm I'm just gonna be I'm I'm just like fresh I'm just gesticulating oh, yeah. frantically. Kevin, at the, at the Kevin, I know I should have done it. I didn't do it. Oh well, never mind. Wouldn't have made a difference anyway. Kevin, okay. do you have any spell slots left? No, I'm out. And what did you get on your attack roll? Not enough. Nine. Wait, ten. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna back up uh, fifteen feet if I can, though. Uh, if you do that, he will take a swing at you. Oh, so it's it's. No, oh, I have to have disengage to actually do that. Yes, sir. Okay. Did he? Did he? Um, did he have a swing at me when I moved away? Oh, I didn't know that you moved away. I thought you. Uh... I I did reposition myself so that I was, back out back away and covering the the spider. I uh, cover sorry covering the constable and and basically going well. Look, if the spider comes at me. It oh, has I to get into the. I thought, based on where things were, I pushed. I just basically had you shift five feet. Oh, okay, no, no, that's fine. Uh, so he takes uh, two more swings at you, and he misses. And You're he gets up. in the way. And he gets in the way of the of the blades to do that. Oh uh, yeah, what is that? Four die four. Yeah. Sweet. Two, three, four, five, four, nine. Uh, and at this point, I'm going to use my fire attack. I'm going to breathe fire on him. Okay. And that is a dex start save DC 13. Dex. That's the one. Seven what damage. So would you like to uh, explain what happens as he catches fire? Um, he, he, uh, he, he breathes in sharply. You can see his lungs start to glow a bit orange, uh, as he does so, and still has a shield, um, up and then, but lowers it just to breathe, um, just to, to burst out this 15 foot cone of fire, uh, engulfing the, the, the spider in flames and, and burning it to a crisp. So you have managed to rescue the constable and he is once you manage to traverse your way back out you see no further sign of this so-called keeper uh, <coughs> but once you are able to you know bring bring your companions back after some some rest the, the constable not only is able to waive any taxes on you guys for the next year but pays you all 250 gold for your your trouble. Is that each? Each. Whoa. You forgot so. to give my bear my dog money too. Oh, he helped. You, you can split but. your share with the with the dog. So I think we he was unconscious and didn't pay us based on what we did. Yeah, he, he uh, right? so that's a lot of freaking Give money. the bear the kobold share, so when he has to, yeah. when he comes running back, he has to take it from the bear. So we, oh, no, uh, he's, he's long gone. We have reached the You'll end. 
we have reached the end of our adventure. Thank you to RPG Crate. If you guys look down in the description below, there's a, a promotional code to get 10% off of your subscription for your first month on RPG Crate. Th thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for playing. Uh, I, I, I think you know these, these adventures that RPG Crate puts in every single one of their crates is pretty awesome. We have fully you know, detailed maps, you know, two, two pages per, or you know, two sides to, to everything. This one has two particular maps to, uh, to, to go with that you could not only use for this adventure, but for others as well. I think it's a great thing. So until next time, stay nerdy. Stay nerdy. Stay nerdy. Stay nerdy. Stay nerdy.